Пошли. Все в месте. Какие ваши доказательства? Кокаином. kind of like um, letting Rebecca introduce herself since she is our very first guest. We've never had a guest before, oh, but really? she's here. Yeah, yeah, you're our very first guest. Not the first guest of the night for both shows. Okay, yes, I'll, I'll introduce myself. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Rebecca. That's you can do that. Oh, okay, I'm like we're live now. Okay, great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. It was giving there's me backstage. There's, there's no proper <laughs> format here. Time to see energy. <laughs> So that was like, you know, that was a um, a pregnant pause to see three, two, one. That's what I'm used to. So, but my name is Rebecca Azor. I am a political journalist. I um I host a show on the internet um, called Like It or Not with you may have heard of him, um, a huge political analyst in politics, uh, especially in the digital realm. His name is Benjamin Dixon, and we host a show together alongside the best DJ in the land, and that is James Bubba Williams, and we talk a lot of politics, especially when um, the subject is related to specifically and more importantly, black people. Um, and we also mix it up a little bit and we talk about a lot of um, entertainment or other things that are happening in the world. Um, I'm Haitian, so you could, you could find a lot of international news, particularly about Haiti on there as well. So yeah, that's exactly who I am. You can find me sometimes on The Rising, um, chopping it up with everybody on there. And so yeah, that's that's a little bit about who, that, just me, me. Yeah. It's really nice. good to have you. Yeah, I'm so happy to have you. I've seen Like It or Not. I've been a longtime fan of Benjamin Dixon because oh, really? he has like some of the best foresight of anyone in politics. Like I whatever he agree. says... And he I doesn't hold back, which I like. it. <laughs> yeah, but like three years later, it's like, oh, Benjamin Dixon was right about that again. Yeah. Um. So I tr I trust his instincts more than my own. So he's another guest who I want to bring on to. I love Ben. Okay, I will definitely get you guys together because I'm pretty sure he would love to be on as well. So yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, as Rebecca was my chosen first guest. Oh. <laughs> Very excited. Mike jumped in and Mike responded immediately. I love Rebecca. And I was like, oh. great. Yeah, was listen. Excellent. Because I had already you. told her it was happening. <laughs> We're running it by y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I feel I feel very welcome here, especially, um, you know, with Ole being here and, you know, hearing that Mike is a fan of the show uh, that lets me know that in this space, you know, we're connected in some way, shape or form. And I love that. So, yeah. Yeah. I have paras parasocial relationships with so many people that don't even know it online. Um, not not to say that I have one about anyone here, but like I feel like I know some folks that I've like watched for years. Um, mm -hmm. So it's nice to, you know, it's nice to talk to folks. But there's there's so many crazy things happening this week. Um, I don't know what you all wanted to start with first. I know Ole has a lot to get off of her chest. I know that there's the Kevin McCarthy nonsense that me and David have been agonizing over throughout the week. Lance, we haven't well, talked I, to you. Laughing over, really, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, laughing over for sure. Yeah. Uh, what do you well, all want to start like, with? Well, I was like, this is so wholesome. We're, we're just, uh, I feel like everyone's just giving each other like a, a wonderful blanket of happiness or something like that. So. Do we want to be complimenting we before we start? <laughs> yeah, right, right. Right. <laughs> that's, that's the show. It's the most narcissistic shit like ever. It's like, hey, I'll I mean, does you anyone want to say and talk about anything? how amazing like... everyone else is for like two hours? <laughs> I could use some compliments. I mean, uh, but who's that? Who's asking? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I should have got high before the show. What the fuck am I doing? 
you know? Patrons only. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. I swear. I don't know what I want. God, if I do though, I just have anxiety. I wouldn't be able to talk. It would. It wouldn't be a fun. It, it'd kill the vibe. I couldn't. I couldn't. One day. You got to find yourself a good mix. You know, some kind of I don't know CBD mixed with whatever percentage you need. You know, like there's there's one weed guru out there in America mm -hmm. at a store who knows exactly what will help you, Mike. I, I'm sure. As soon My as you nephew walk is in. a connoisseur. I should have asked okay. him. I usually go for hybrids. Um, mm. I don't like sativa alone but i could do indica or hybrids but yeah my, my nephew is a weed guru he's pretty big on instagram he his name is abra uh daba and he does dab videos and they're really creative and no artistic way. i would encourage everyone to check it out um he no does idea. some trick shots with the dabs he is a connoisseur a uh, Abra, let, let me look it up really quick, okay? Because yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna get the spelling right, but yeah, he yeah, he's super talented, and I everything that I know I've learned from him. Uh, okay, so it's A B R A C A Everyone's underscore. Chris, you've got so many new followers tonight because of me. <laughs> <laughs> underscore oh, I found D A B B A. It. I found it. I have mutual followers done. Follow it. <laughs> Oh Amazing. look at these! Oh look at these bombs! These go crazy. Yeah, yeah. He he like travels to Vegas. Oh, he shit. picks them out for the shop that he helps run. Like it's oh, yeah, it's. I'm following. There's a whole world out there that he introduced me to, and it's it's so fascinating. It's it's basically an art. So yeah, shout out to my nephew Christian. Oh. Man, I could have done this with my life instead of following this shit. <laughs> Right? <laughs> they just smoke weed all day and posted I mean, pics of bars. Really wonder. Critical about who could have did this with their life. There's a lot of people that did this with their life and they're behind bars. That, you yeah. know, unfortunately. Unfortunately. That's unfortunately. Yeah. Right. Right. It, it's completely okay. legal in Canada now. So yeah. hopefully. Yeah, we in have Oregon, no it's been issues. legal since 2014. And, or we voted to make it legal in 2014. 2015 is when I think it took effect. But the same shop that my nephew works at, they sold uh, bongs, but it was just for tobacco. But I mean, you know, there. Yeah, you, you can't get arrested for purchasing a bong. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it was really interesting. Yeah, but David, we gotta tell people who don't know this about Canada. Like disproportionately in Canada, there's way more Indigenous people in jail for like marijuana and like nonviolent marijuana offenses in the same way. There's like disproportionately way more Black people in America in, in jail for marijuana offenses. And when they legalized marijuana. That should have been like a, a pass. That should have been like, okay, mm -hmm. so now every single person here, uh, you get out of jail because we have determined as a society, this isn't a crime and, and that's fucked and you shouldn't be in jail anymore. But we didn't do that. And, and yeah. like, that's the part of the story. Yeah, that that I fight's still going on. America does the same thing. Yeah. Like, people assume, you know, when they legalize something, they go, they go back and retroactively have it take place, but they don't. They don't expunge records. They exonerate nobody. People continue to serve their time. And it's an yeah. incredibly costly undertaking um, that they often don't have any legal representation to try to pursue it. It, it is, uh, it is, you know, systemically unfair. It definitely yeah. is. We, I know I have family members um, and friends who are serving time. And then I have other friends who actually have opened up shops and who are thriving mm -hmm. for the same thing that uh, friends and family members have are, are serving time or have served time for. So it, it it's it's just disproportionate a lot. So yeah, yeah, it's it's that so strange funny. how how there's these disparities. Like in some states, you can't even have medical weed, uh, but in other states, like in my state, you can walk into a store and buy an ounce. And there's a long line out the door sometimes. Like it's it's just so bizarre to me. And the culture changed around it too. Like the stigma around it was really heavy. Like mostly older people, they were very anti weed. And then a couple of years after legalization, it just became a normal thing to where I was buying pot for like my in laws and my mom, <laughs> uh, which was awkward no and weird. But still, you know, it was like it, attitudes just changed immediately, which is very, very strange because it's been stigmatized for so long. Because they had to realize, like, all of the lies around it didn't come true. Like, all of the right. claims of uh, society's going to go to shit, all this stuff's going to happen, people are going to be dying in the streets. And everything was the same because people I, that were that, want, that were smoking it before were just still smoking it, but now legally. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that drinking is definitely more dangerous than oh, yeah. smoking weed. Yeah. Like people will get behind a vehicle I, for the um, the corporate job uh, that I had. They would say you can get two drinks on your break, um, and people were getting the strongest drinks on their break mm-hmm. and coming back to work. <laughs> Um, and pe- some people were getting high and getting in trouble and getting in trouble for that, um, getting fired for that on their break. But they're coming and they're coming back to do work. Um, it might be a little slower. Um, it might be a little smoother. It might be a little more calm. But <laughs> other people were coming back drunk. Um, and it's still legal for people to go on their break, get two drinks, drive back to the job site and work. Um, and I found that really hard to do for myself because I, I tried it. <laughs> And then so, but for people who, for people who are, you know, I, I just, I don't, I don't understand why they, it's not, I really think more dangerous. We hear about more drunk drivers taking lives than people who get behind the wheel, who's, who hit the blunt. Like you, that's, you know, I, I think that they've put so much stigma on it and especially with people who have sold it. Um, you know, we've already seen people who were selling back in the day, people who were selling weed to be stigmatized as people who were dangerous thugs. And, you know, they had to be people of color, particularly black right. folks. Right. Um, and, you know, pretty, pretty dangerous. Now we see who's uh, leading that right now, um, you know, getting shops, selling weed, um, you know, dispensaries, all of this stuff. And um, there's stocks. It's like there's stocks. It. On, on the stock market where you can yeah. buy weed stocks, you know, yeah. like the, the I, I'm gonna... is, <laughs> it's not a big, it's not this big mystery. The answer is racism. Like it's, it's, mm-hmm. it's yeah. all the difference between oh, the war on yeah, drugs yeah, versus the op- prohibition the op- across the board. Crisis. <laughs> that's the, that's yeah. the only difference when something is associated, when they're able to associate something with black people and criminalize it in a way, then of course it's a criminal situation. When it's, when they now see white people doing it, then it becomes a part of leisurely this. Now it's medicinal. Now it's yada, yada, different vibes. Mm-hmm. Is all the difference between how they associate us in this very criminal way in terms of weed, but then you know we got the super bad movies, we got all the Seth Rogen and Pineapple Express, like, and even in, if if you think about it, right, a, a reflection of that, it's not as though they just started uh, creating these distinctions in our new world that's more pro weed. No, no, no. Even when weed always had the stigmatization across the board, you would still see in Sex in the City them have Carrie and them do it once in a while. You could still see that '70s show and people like that. You could still see all these examples of white people doing it and it's real cute it's real fun nobody nobody watched the super bad movies and thought jail like you know what i mean (laughs) there wasn't a campaign to stop that right well the answer is what always is it's racism and 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 the funny thing about that is you know how people go and how they stigmatize things because i always think about that and not that i'm going to come out as a pothead um but um i'm saying (laughs) you would never Right. What I'm saying is I always think it's interesting and not saying that because people there are so many signs of, you know what I mean? Like to me, I always think about that. Like nobody, nobody knows about my one true love. Right. But there's so many signs. But because they associate <laughs> you with being such a serious working professional, like to say that, all these different things they don't associate with the stigmatization of, you know, weed. You could just be there high as fuck in plain sight all the time and like no one ever notices. But if you suddenly said it, all of a sudden the perception, they would have all all the mm-hmm. cute, clever, funny things is a really pothead shit. They would suddenly, you know, it's interesting how, how perception yeah. works that way. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it does. And, um, you know, I think, shoot, what we like to, I like to perceive that a lot of these um big corporation owners and um, Elon Musk and them, you know, they're doing hard drugs, you know, they, but they have rehab. <laughs> we got jail. Black folks have jail. They have rehab and we have jail. They're doing hard drugs. They're abusing drugs. Um, as some people are overdosing, all kinds of things. Uh, but for weed, people are doing hard time. Um, and then for people abusing hard drugs, owning big businesses, uh, they go to rehab, you know, know they get to come back out to their family. I know a lot lot of cocaine prosecutors like a lot like a mm. lot a lot like not a few you know are, are you gonna drop names is, is this the moment it's gonna no. be like <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your cocaine. Talk. You shouldn't go to jail for doing or enjoying your cocaine or your marijuana. That's the that's the whole point, right? Like at this at this stage, it, we were supposed to have flying cars. We're supposed to have a civilization <laughs> where we had cars that could float in the air, and we're putting people in cages because they smoke a plant. That's fucked. 
that like that that's so far from beyond what we should be doing right now collectively we should be like be band together we should have a society cool society is a good idea uh we probably shouldn't put people in cages if they smoke a plant i i, I would assume most people would agree with mm -hmm. that right like, that's not a spicy well, or a controversial take well you know it's it, it i mean like like Olay said, it definitely is racism, right? Because yeah. yep. people do smoke blunts that are white and can get away with it. But people who same, are black, same rates, apparently. What white and black people in America use drugs at the same rate and, and yet and disproportionately. Black. It's four times the rate, I think, for, yeah. for black people and, in jail. And let me tell you some. As somebody who's been to a lot of a lot of white schools, I've been in many of a white environment. So like I went to school in Florida, then West Virginia, then Ohio, then New York. I've been surrounded by nothing but white peers, and then by nothing but black communities as well. The most drug use is definitely amongst the whites. I'm 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 gonna tell you right now. Like I I bet. Listen, I'd bet my last dollar and Raheem on it. Like I'd get a cat away. I'm telling you, I know. <laughs> I'm this. This I am certain. Like this, I am. I am positive. <laughs> drug, drug, drugs you never even thought about. Like I can tell you all some stories, son. Like I have. It's very, very, very much so. And you know what's interesting? I'm gonna say not to be, not to be, um, Captain Save the Weed. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I am gonna say weed is not just for me. It's for me and you. Like it keeps, <laughs> it keeps everybody safe. Like. Bro, I'm just like it. Really, it really does. Aren't you a nicer person? Aren't yes. you? Yes. Aren't you much much more likely to let? How did this turn to a stoner podcast? It's amazing. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I'm provoked. Yeah. And but I, 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 I agree. I'm, I'm not pushing back on that. I agree. Like, if, if you're like, hey, uh, someone's super stoned versus someone's super drunk, especially if it's a dude. If a dude is super drunk, it's going to be like, uh, he's trying to fight. He's blah blah blah. And, and if a dude is super stoned, all of a sudden he's like, ah, uh, what's going on? Do, do you read Sartre or do you know? who God is, stuff like that. You got a versus, bag of Cheetos. Like, yeah, all right. Did you have food that I, I can eat? Deep. Out of everybody yeah. here, I probably am the one who's not, you know, a stoner. Um, right. I, don't, I don't smoke, <laughs> but that's, that's neither here or there because I'm surrounded by people who do. And my best friend is mm -hmm. watching like, girl, you don't even, I'm pretty sure she's like, you know, saying that. But I literally have um, a brother-in-law who had to do hard time yeah. because mm -hmm. He had to sell drugs in order to make things shake uh, because he wasn't able to get a job. Um, and then, you know, him coming out and seeing uh, different businesses now um, all around that are owned by white folks and they're selling weed. Uh, and that's and also he, something they're not evaluating enough. Mm. In yeah. terms of the industry is not they you know they're talking now about you know the places that have legalized weed and then they talk about how this could be a business and you get get licenses but they're not talking about how they are actively preventing black people from being I'm able kidding. to get those licenses and the people who've actually you know the people who have who have rec criminal records or have had you know because of weed those people are not completely you know ineligible to enter this industry so the people that have been most criminalized and most suffered off an of industry and kept out of it for the longest and now the people being prevent prevented from turning it in, into, you know, a legitimate business. I couldn't do it illegitimately. And now you want to legitimize it and be, I'm, I'm to be forced out. And that's something that's also not being studied. People are leaving it too much at, oh, weed was legalized. Great. End of mm -hmm. the, end of the fight. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, there's an entire industry being created off of it. And, and mm -hmm. white people are who are profiting off of it. Yeah. They're gatekeeping, and, and they're gatekeeping from something that we've been in, but now it's in their hands and it's like, we can't get in on it. And it's funny because I look at it the same way I look at gun control, right? You see a lot of, especially in America, you see a lot of people who are so um, gung ho on like, all right, you know, um, guns are our rights. You know, this is for us. We don't want our guns being taken away. But if you arm a lot of black people, then the conversation of gun control will now be a thing. And we've been saying, oh, let's geez. talk gun control. Let's talk gun control. And white force is like, no, in our way is like, no, everybody's like, no, especially the right. Uh, you know, this is my right. You know, I don't take away my right as an American. Um, but if you arm black folks, you know, legally, now it's going to be, oh, let's talk gun control. Let's yeah. start putting, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, uh, yeah, let's start censoring. Let's start gatekeeping. Let's start making sure black people are not able to get guns. Now they're going to start saying, um, you know, let's put in more laws. You know, it, that's just how it is, especially I see that with gun control and I'm, I, I see that with weed. Marijuana. Yeah, mm -hmm. Same thing with queer people, by the way. As soon as you see queer people getting armed, all of a sudden it's like the exact same conversation is happening. Mm -hmm. it, it's yeah. like, oh, well, what's going on here? Why do you have all this Kevlar? Mm -hmm. Why do they have this, like, you know, all these weapons? It's mm -hmm. like, well, th these are people defending themselves yeah. from a very, very real threat uh, yeah. coming to them all the time. There's a there's a really dope op-ed I actually was just reading by the chief the chief public defender in Chicago, Sharon Mitchell, called. Um, 
there's no Second Amendment rights on the South Side of Chicago, like about this mm. exactly this issue, um, because that's that's the truth, right? Like, there's all this talk and celebration of guns. America is a country that loves guns. America is a country that loves violence. Literally, all uh, Republicans Republicans have made it synonymous. Their idea of patriotism is pictures of M's and guns and flags, but somehow in the same breath, they will take up any picture of a black person with a gun, and somehow that is a criminal image of a thug. And what has changed other than Oh, race, right? They could have, they could have, they could put out post pictures with tons of guns, just, just a, just a small little um, 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 military in their own, in their homes for no reason. But black people with guns is is perceived as this way, and it's because we are not, it, it's not meant to extend to us, and that is a hypocrisy that's just allowed to exist in plain sight in all of these, in all of these discussions. And yeah. we, we mm-hmm. saw this right with with Philando Castile, who was shot mm-hmm. while he was telling an officer, "Hey." I have this gun. I'm going to tell you like what I, this thing's right here. And then he got shot because, yeah. and again, if that was a white guy, he, there's no way. I mean, yeah. the, the same scenario doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and while it may, we, it may have happened right where um, a white man was armed. Um, we'll, we'll see a, um, a video here and there because cops are trash, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No lay. Um, but you know, we'll, <laughs> we'll see a, a, a video of, um, you know, a white person being shot if they were armed. But if we compare that to the amount of people who um, are probably armed or not armed or have a cell phone or have some Skittles or whatever the case may be um, (laughs) being shot down, I think that, you know, it it sucks because a black person with a gun is a thug, is -hmm. dangerous on sight. Um, Shoot first, ask questions later. A white person with a gun, may have a conversation. I've seen where white people are waving all kinds of semi-automatics, knives, everything, running up on police officers and making it out alive. Um, uh, police officers will um, handshake uh, Kyle Rittenhouse, uh, who killed two people, and um, right after the fact, um, you know, Dylan, Ruth, um, killed the people in the church, then was then was led out to go get Burger King. Yeah. The the guy who right yep. here in Atlanta who went to the different massage parlors and murdered people. Um and he said the officer came out and said, Oh, he just had a bad day. Yeah. I think, yeah. you know, since you bring it up, a- an important point, people love to you, they'll bring up, oh, you know, when you when you post police brutality against black people, you talk about this issue. Um They'll say, "Oh, well, police, p- police kill white people. Police kill white people too." And I, I wanna, I wanna pause on that. That is not a gotcha. That is actually <laughs> yeah, no shit. No, that's, that's bad that's, too. It's not that's a, also it's, bad. It's indicative <laughs> of the problem. And I'm saying to you that police brutality is not actually some anomaly, but policing in and of itself, brutality and violence is a part of it, and that we live, we all live in a police state that endangers all of us. If I'm saying to you, police disproportionately kill black people, and we live in a police state, and we need to do something to eradicate this 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 race this injustice in our in our society, and you respond, oh well, police kill white people too. You are recognizing the magnitude of the problem. That this is not a racial mm-hmm. issue. This is not a black people problem. This is a collective issue we have with policing. So I just want that to be clear. Yes, police do kill white people too. Because police be killing people. Police kill over a thousand people. Police shoot and kill that they admit to in the statistics. Police shoot kill shoot and kill over a thousand people each year. That's not who they kill in any other means. That's not who they brutalize. That's not who they paralyze. That's not who they're covering up. That's not none of that. That's just who they admit to shooting mm-hmm. and killing. So yes, we live in a police we, state. We, we should also mm-hmm. add poor people. Yes. Right. Absolutely. Homeless also people. disabled people. Homeless people. You know, disabled if you have a, people. If you're autistic it. and you're nonverbal, that's a huge thing. There was this sign that I saw that somebody posted. It was a photograph on Reddit saying that they had to put up a sign in their front yard for police that like my son is nonverbal and autistic. Wow. Please like and it's a couple of years ago that I've seen this. So hopefully I'm describing it adequately, but just like to show that like there was this assumption that their son was going to be brutalized because he wouldn't be able to cooperate fully and wouldn't be able to speak. It's just. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to pivot too hard here, but I don't know if you all saw there's this gif of Sailor Moon and there's a scene where they're fighting the cops and somebody resubtitled it. And off, made it gift. into. We, we have to. We have to set the. No, no, no. The 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 owner <laughs> or the person I'm who bummed. created it said Jeff. Yeah, <laughs> so, um, but anyways, the uh, it was it was made into an A cab clip of Sailor Moon, and you have to find it if you just I think search for a Sailor Moon A cab, 
it's perfect for this conversation. Uh, but yeah, yeah, the, I think that's yeah. such a great point that Ole brought up about how like the white people who think it's a gotcha who try to like discredit the disproportionate amount of black people, people killed by police. It's like white people police. also get killed by cops. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, yeah, that's bad. They, they shouldn't be. <laughs> and, you know? and that's yeah. the real thing that you bring up, Mike, my, um, so my baby brothers, both my, my, my little, my youngest siblings, my baby brothers are twins and both of them have autism. And that's actually the reason like all my sisters have eventually, I came to America first and eventually all my sisters, you know, continue, you know, follow it in are in America scattered amongst, but my brothers, we don't let come for example, Exactly that reason, because mm -hmm. there have been that that happens. There's been that, oh, and that's literally, that. yeah, yeah. So that that is very, mm -hmm. very much so a thing, very near and dear to my. Because there there aren't the the resources that that my brothers best need. I feel like for their like they best need is not available in the Bahamas, and that's even of being of more mm -hmm. than your average Bahamian. It just isn't there, but the ways the danger that my they would be exposed to, I know mm -hmm. based on how my brothers you know, function in society and where they're at versus how they appear. Because the thing is, it's like my brothers in so many respects um, are kids in, in many ways and how do they, they, they act and, but they look grown now, you know, they're 21, they're like 22. They look very, they, they're tall, big black men as far as how America will perceive mm -hmm. it. And that is just not something we can live with. That is a very real, a, a real thing. Like we think about this and we ultimately come to the conclusion every time, like, no, I, I would not be able to sleep. I just know. And it's, no yeah, it's really we'll unfortunate find. to be part of a marginalized group within a marginalized group within a marginalized group. Mm -hmm. And it's, it sucks because I've, I've heard of, you know, people with mental illnesses, uh, people who are disabled, people just, you know, being shot down b by police just for being black or just for being a certain type of way or just for being a part of the LGBTQIA plus community. Um, I, uh, we covered a few stories, one about a six year old um, or a nine year old playing in somebody's yard um, or playing around somebody's yard, children. And the person called the police on this child and it was taken all the way to court. Uh, a six year old who was handcuffed for some reason that had nothing to do with nothing, just playing around, six year old was handcuffed and they took that all the way to court. Her, her little fist could not even, her little wrist couldn't couldn't even fit the handcuffs and they Jesus. took this to court um you know and then there was a story that we recently covered here in georgia uh where a woman was uh just having a mental breakdown in her home possibly a mental breakdown in her home and her mother sent out the police for her uh to have a wellness check police get there they put her in the back of the car didn't even lock it up didn't check on her they she's in her home and they saw that she was inebriated in her home how many times have you been drunk in your home i mean you're safe in your environment you drunk you probably might fall out somewhere in your home, but it's the comfort of your home. And mm -hmm. so they seen that she was inebriated, so they decided they wanted to take her in. Uh, and they put her in the back of a car, did not protect her properly. The car doors were unlocked. They didn't check if she was secured. And she ended up falling out of the car and dying. Oh uh, police officers but, do not care about people. Jesus. They, they, they not at all. Yeah. Yeah. No, not at all. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so we can go on with stories and stories and stories about this. Um, just shows how it's very systemic for um, people and police officers, especially if you look a certain kind of way or if you're part of a certain marginalized group. You are a target. You are yeah. a target. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yes, in pivoting times. Um, <laughs> let's pivot, girls. Get it. I miss you. We can talk about race all day. We do it all the time. In here. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. Um, Lanting them. Y'all, please tell the people what's happening in white people politics today. <laughs> well, today we're discussing uh, the mayonnaise flavors. No. <laughs> in clear form. <folk. laughs> it's getting heated. Transparent <laughs> politics. Here we go. Yeah. We got this. We got this. Hey, let's talk about the Speaker of the House, or lack thereof, and how uh, there is no uh, U.S. government right now. What's going on? America, what's going on? Americans, all, all you Americans, what, what's happening? It, it, it seems kind of clown. -shoes. I guess that's Mike we're talking about now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I repudiate all of these Americans. Okay, I can't. I can't. I can't speak for them. No. So basically, I mean, there was 19. Now there's 21 Republicans who are refusing to support Kevin McCarthy under any circumstances. They got everything that they wanted from him. I mean, there's really no policy disagreement at the heart at the heart of this, right? There were some rules changes that they wanted, and one of them, primarily being that um, one of them, one member alone would be able to force a vote of no confidence. 
and oust the speaker. He said, I'll come down to five, which is just that's huge, right? Because normally you need um, half of members. So he pivoted on that and he said, okay, one. We'll do one. One person can, you know, um, to be clear, I, I believe it's uh, it's to force a vote to get him out, not to just to get him out completely. Right, so it, right, they still right. have to they still they still need half the caucus to be able to vote to get him out. But just having one person or even five be able to force a vote to remove the speaker, that would just I mean, here, let's be clear. They're not getting anything done anyways. <laughs> but but if they had right. an agenda, that would be everything they're doing because everything McCarthy would do, he'd have to worry one person or five people that are basically people against him may just decide, Oh, today we don't like what he's doing. So we're going to now vote him out or, 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 you know, push for this vote to get him out. So it would just be, it would muck up the entire process. It's, it's ridiculous, but he's mm -hmm. lost now what 10, I think 10 votes, something like that. Oh, I, I lost times. track, honestly. I thought oh, he was at 11. 10. Me and at 11. I thought we were at 11. Oh, he might be at 11 by now. I think 11, uh, I right. think 11 is the next vote. 11. I seen it. I was looking at it earlier. Oh, this is happening it's now. 11. Okay. <laughs> I think it's 11. I think I was reading the Oh, same my thing. God. It's embarrassing what's happening in there right now. And then you got um, Big Head, Matt Gates, Jimmy Neutron. Oh, there you go. Charlie Kirk. <laughs> Not Charlie Neutron. Him. Oh, God. There's a lot of big heads to go It's around. a lot of big heads. Um, but that on the right, one. it's just really... A, I, I'm, embar I'm embarrassed. Like, I'm always embarrassed. But then I get secondhand embarrassment um, watching this. And just seeing how Matt Gates is voting for Donald Trump, shouting that out. Right. Uh, with his sidekicks, you know, the the stupid crew, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene <laughs> beside him, thinking it's a, it's just, it's, they, these are the people that we're voting for and who are running things. And I think that is a testament. That is so sad for America. I mean, it's literally, <laughs> it's, it's less looking in the mirror. That's who's running the country. And and, yeah. and Marjorie Taylor Greene is actually supporting McCarthy. So it was yeah. odd she was sitting beside Gates there and, and even gave him a little up. smile after Gates voted mm -hmm. for, for Trump. But but the reason so the, to be clear, too, by the way, to be clear, the Santos only reason uh, Marge is with uh, McCarthy is because she's being promised her committee assignments and potentially mm -hmm. a, a big position True. on one of those uh, committees. Mm -hmm. So like that's none of this is about policy. None of this is no. about anything yeah. actual, substantial I, or real. It's we, all about personalities. I wish we would appreciate yep. enough the good old fashioned beef of that all, right? Like there is no policy or principle disagreement. In. They just don't fucking like him. <laughs> and I would, yeah. I wish, like, I would love to know what behind the scenes, like, what made him such a dickhead that they were like, fuck it, fuck it, fuck Everybody it. said it. Everybody's <laughs> so mad that they they bringing in people that have no no chance of winning. Just shouting out, just, just like, like, Dr. Seuss. And everybody's like, <laughs> like it, it, that's how much they can't stand him. <laughs> well, it just, it, it goes back to something that Olay said on like episode two. They their only politics is oh. fuck you. That's their I politics. That's Rude. literally the totality Rude. of their yeah, politics. No, and it works right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is. yeah. Which is which is why which is why Marge right now is losing support because her support right. is based on the fact that she is anti things. So when she is for McCarthy, mm -hmm. then all of a sudden like the the the, the gig's up. <laughs> you can no yeah, longer. And, and there's no reason to support her now because she actually wants something. It, it's yeah. so, it's all yeah. like their base right now. Everything. That you, entire side is insane. Haters. That's all it is. It's, a it's hilarious. They're, so basically the neo-Nazis who Marjorie Taylor Greene aligned with, they've all turned on her. So you have Nick Fuentes, a neo-Nazi who is threatening to release some footage that he recorded when she was in the green room at his event, AFPAC number Amazing. three. Um, and on top of that, you have Ali Alexander, the founder of Stop the Steal, who also supposedly has evidence that she committed crimes uh, that he's going to give Amazing. to the state of Georgia in a couple of days. So they Amazing. are turning on her. And one thing that's hilarious is anyone who's supporting McCarthy, um, they're getting flamed now. And I don't know if this is representative of like the full GOP base, but at least online, they're in lockstep with these 21 Republican fools. So I did a video today <laughs> where I talked about the handy uh, clip where he's grilling Lauren Boebert. And if you can, if you have one of those plugins to look at the dislike ratio, it got 22,000 dislikes and 6,800 uh, 6, likes. And all of the comments are just like, I can't believe Sean Hannity would grill her. Lauren Boebert, Lauren Boebert is correct. And if you look at anything that Marjorie Greene says on Twitter about Kevin McCarthy, um, just, 
I thought that you were one of us. You sold out. It, they are getting flamed right now. So this has led to not just like GOP infighting, but the base revolting on anyone who isn't in lockstep with those 21. It, it, I love it so much. My, my, one of the things I want to like express to people is like, what the fuck did you think was going to happen? If, if you open your house to a whole bunch of fascists and anti-Semites and fucking neo-Nazis, oh, they're not behaving uh, in a way that I find to be becoming right now. It's like, no fucking shit. Of course, the neo-Nazis <laughs> are going to be fucking neo-Nazis and behave yeah. like neo-Nazis and everyone's going to betray each other and it's going to be a circular sapping squad. That's what's happening right now. I, yeah. I very much so hate that. Like, just as a general, like, left, right, everybody across the board, I can't stand... When people like have sh like, you know, they say it in the wire, like a man gotta have a code. Like, don't invite people onto your shows or do business with you. You know what I mean? And then like be setting them up, and they'd be doing more stuff surprise. Like, that. like I hate. I cannot mm -hmm. tell you how much I hate shit like that. Like I have to be mindful of my own self sometimes. Like the other day, I was like in have, having a conversation with somebody, and then they said something that I found really like, and I'm like unprincipled and fucked up and in my spirit my impulse wanted to be like to like repeat it to somebody and then i was like you know what i don't want to begin the world of where people can't trust that you know they said something off the record or you know what i mean like i i hate that like just the whole act of oh you you invite somebody on you green screen recording them like what kind of fucking snakery is this like we ain't no honor amongst <laughs> these like i can't like, i hate shit like that i hate shit like that that's how they function on the yeah. right and I, and like you said it's actually amongst both it's everybody you yeah. know i i think oh, it's very bipartisan um that kind of uh, action but uh with the right you'll see people giddy giddy with each other supporting each other um and then all of a sudden something happens we aren't privy to it um yeah. and then it's so much hate for this person and it's like no but you were just literally on january where were you on january 6th yeah. because if you were just with this person <laughs> you were just where were you higher right check to me, if, I was, if somebody was comfortable enough to some degree to tell me a certain amount or whatever a wild level opinion i must also have been existing with them in a space in a manner where we're exchanging these kind of things and i don't want to get into the world of that like i remember once some random um, lawyer like came at me on Twitter that I like, I knew her business. Like she's in my DMs. Like, I'm like, I know this bitch for real. Like, girl, I know you. I like, I could bury you. I was going to, I swear to God, it was so unhinged to me that I was like, you know what, baby girl, it has to be having a breakdown. Cause there ain't no way. And she knows I have way too much ammunition. Money and we can't be in this world. And I'm just like, I can't know. I cannot know people. I'm telling you, when I start seeing people move like that, regardless, if I see like, oh, you do this person show, but you want to thing, shade never, you didn't say that to their face on there, but now you're saying that on this, you know, Rebecca, we talk, you know, as soon as I peep it, even in my own experiences, I yeah. won't say anything. I'll be on a and I'll, I'll be like, Oh, yeah, but in my mind, I'm like, oh, it's fuck you for life. <laughs> and, and you have to be that way. You have to be that way, especially in these spaces, because, and you know, you have the agree to disagree type, you know, energy. And then you have it like, uh, don't ever invite me back on this platform because the next time I come on, it's go it's going to get real because I let you slide on this time. But no, the next time I come on, I'm going to be very prepared and shots will be fired. But, um, you know, some people you really have to call out because even if they're um, the world wants you to side with them because you they think you identify with the same party or whatever. And, you know, either you're both black women. I've been on with a black woman and they were thinking that we were just going to side with each other because we were black women. Yet we were on there and she was very, very conservative. Um, and I did disagree with her. Um, and, and in a manner which I had to do where it's not black women fighting each other on a white platform, it was more so let me disagree with her and I'll just um, call Ole and just talk about it um, on the phone. <laughs> uh, you, know, you don't want to put that energy out there, but what, for the Republicans, they are, that's a circus. Yeah. Loyalty, I don't, I don't see it. I, I don't see it at all, but they, they're, they're loyal to themselves. They're loyal to, they're loyal to money. They're loyal to holding these seats down, not helping people. Um, but it, it's really sad. I, I, we've seen what um, the like we were talking about the left. Um, what's her name? Kristen Cinema, like see, Kristen mm. Cinema. Seeing Kristen, her just yeah. flip like that, but we watched her not do anything and or walk in um, any uh, left. Any didn't wasn't any wasn't helpful. She was moving conservatively the whole time, and mm -hmm. for her to take the mask off and was like, oh, "Here I am," and we were like, "Girl, we already knew." But this is how they move. I, I, politics <laughs> is nasty, but we we see like we see what's going on. We see what's, what's amazing about, about about cinema is that she 
used to be part of the Green Party. And then well, she yeah. pretended yeah. to be like she was elected being progressive, supporting. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think it's Medicare for all, but but at least uh, I believe uh, free prescription drugs and like expanding mm -hmm. health care. And like the tweets are still up. I, I covered this stuff a year ago when it was first really obvious she was like, super conservative. And clearly, like the money got to her, right? Like she's she has certain connections now. She's buddies with Mitch McConnell. Like it's just a, mm -hmm. a complete turnaround. And then she moves to be independent because she thinks it'll save her career next time because she doesn't want to face a primary challenge that she will lose based on all polling. She will get destroyed in a primary, Democratic primary. So she's now an independent. <laughs> Yet the first poll that came out with her as an independent, she would get destroyed <laughs> in, in an election between mm -hmm. a Democrat, a Republican, and an independent. With the Republican winning out, I, I think I had, they had um, uh, Carrie Lake in that poll, and she mm -hmm. wins with like wow. uh, by like a percentage point over uh, Ruben Gallego, who wow. would be the replacement for, for cinema. And the cinema was down to like 12%. But so she would be the spoiler candidate if she were to run, at least as of today, in that race. And here she used to be a Green Party person, <laughs> pretending to be progressive. So they, Jesus. they make good money when you switch over. I'm not going to hold you. I've seen people <laughs> that I, I came in with back in 2017 switch over, and they're living Large and in charge. Liberals don't be really like like full liberals flip. don't be making that that kind of money. I'm still you know we're, um, living paycheck to paycheck. You know, listen, the, it's it's different when you get conservative. Um, you know, it 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 pays. It does pay. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people do switch over. Um, and we'll look at them crazy, but they're they're get just to say right talking points conservative talking points they're getting paid for that well yeah especially from yeah. Like, the left perspective right that way you can be like oh well this is a former leftist who used mm -hmm. to be like a bernie sanders supporter or something mm -hmm. and now look what they say but with mm -hmm. someone like matt gates because we were just talking about matt gates this motherfucker is not in any way hiding in in the shadows it's pretty like well discussed at this point this person is an alleged pedophile human trafficker uh drugging and potentially raping children all that kind of stuff so why is anyone thinking that this individual is going to play nice and or normal within the political apparatus, right? Like to have someone that vile and rise to those ranks, like not just Matt Gates, like George Santos too. I, I genuinely, I, I love George oh, Santos. I, I like, whatever you are. He's hilarious. You know, like, Come on, run it back, run it back. Amazing. Run it back, run it back, run it back. What'd you, what'd you, what'd you, what'd you, what'd you, run it back. Run it back. I got you. Uh, George you, you Santos. George Santos, you mean like as a as a comic, as a comedic genius? Uh, you yes, as a concept, like holy fuck, how did you infiltrate the, <laughs> the the right or the Republican Party to such a degree? How did you climb the ranks and you're sitting there and you're like, I I'm the son of Ukrainian Holocaust survivors and my mom died in 9/11. It's like that's not true. None of that's true. You just you just made that all up. You said that out as a matter of fact. But now uh, that's just out there. Now now every Everyone has to basically deal with this. I, I'm so happy that he got that far, honestly. And, and uh, I, I wish there was more. It, ex it exposed the whole institution. Like when you, when your entire life is a lie, everything this guy, the amount of lies he's had are insane. And you, you lie that much, and you still win an election. Like it shows you, mm. <laughs> there's nothing. Like anyone can do this shit. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Any, no, no, no. A any sociopath can do this. Here we go. White person. Yo, yeah, any, any white man. White. Right in this last episode, it shows no any white person. This shit only happens to George Santos, Anna Sorkin, the Tinder swindle. White folk mm. get to do shit like this. They will not give me a fucking Target gift card without running a search on me. They, you think they let me die? Are you fucking serious, bro? Like, you think I can be up here just tattling, just telling tales? Just be like, oh, my granddaddy was fighting with Nelson Mandela. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My granddaddy. <laughs> Like they will the next no that evening on no as soon as she said it on Twitter they already said anyway. um, oh a lawyer Olay is lying or you know da da da, da mm -hmm. you know so what else is she lying about right. at Rikers you Bro. know they would do this whole mm -hmm. thing I have watched I there's a Reddit page devoted to a conspiracy that I was a bot at one point in time that I was making on my whole immigration you think they don't run up on me the second Jesus. most Google thing of my name is citizenship what they ain't gonna let me what? tell what? fucking lie wow.
That is so, so fucked up. Oh number my one, god. Number one is husband. Number two is citizenship. Oh, they're trying to see. My, what you my meant. number one they're is husband to too. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. They want. They want to see if she's taken or not. Is, she, is there a ring on? They want to see if there's some problematic man. You know. You know how that is. They want to hold on. Let me see if she. You know my type. Like they. They can't wait to throw a white man accusation on me. So they just. They want to Google and see if there's a white husband. They're like ah. <laughs> because they seen you online with a white man. That was. That was crazy because everybody was like, oh, she's talking about all this black this and that and that, and yet she's with a white man. I, I literally had one picture with my white male friend. Nothing about it looked romantic. Nothing about it gave that. Nothing about it indicated that. It wasn't giving that. I was like, this is this is absolutely absurd. What's also wilder to me is that when people think I post my men. Like, I'm like, yeah. uh, mm. who we posting the men online? He was like, <laughs> Him, you wouldn't be. You wouldn't even wouldn't invite this guy. To, what are you talking about? Like, what what part of the game is this? <laughs> you think I'm just gonna tell you? <laughs> like, absurd. But yes, no. That's that's why they really want to know. They want to know if there's some problematic figure, something for them to be upset about. You, they can't wait to attach you to some man. Yeah, yeah. Me handle it for nobody. I have to bring it back to George Santos because I have <laughs> the sense of humor of an 11 year old. Unfortunately. But did you all see the video of him sitting by himself on the house and he takes a peek at the camera. He sees that nobody's looking. Uh, I don't know if he's looking directly at the camera, but you see the eye contact, but he like looks around and this motherfucker, no cap, digs his nose and then pretend like tries to play it off like he scratches it and then looks again. And then he rolls a booger on his fingers. No, he did not roll it around and play with it. No, like it was played. I I I swear to God. What? I actually didn't see this video. I I saw somebody make the comment, and I thought they were honestly thought they were joking. So I okay, so I literally structured my whole show. I I structured my whole show on Monday around George Santos just so I could play that video. I swear to God. Um, And I even do an instant replay breakdown, like second to second of of him doing. And there's a child sitting next to him oh because God. they're waiting to be sworn in and watch the, their parents get sworn in. The kid is being way more mature. He's just sitting there the being really polite. And George Santos is the one digging his nose and rolling a booger on his fingertips. I swear to God. I love him so much. Look, so let's much. let's be clear. Keep going. We all pick our nose. We all pick our nose. But we don't well. do it in public. <laughs> we do it with a tissue. We do it we do it yeah, cl- with tissue, as cleanly as possible. Keys. We blow our nose. <laughs> Maybe like in the shower. An hour to pull a Ted Cruz. An hour. <laughs> Ted Cruz didn't eat a tonsil stone on live television until he was like a politician for four or five years. George he Santos on day him. one. <laughs> okay, this is a... We're going to go down a really gross rabbit hole if I continue because I have so many different stories about this. But yeah, if it you Google, did Ted Cruz eat a booger... Um, my video is one of the first ones that pops up because I'm always on to this shit. Like, like I'm always on it. Um, Whenever there's boogers, you're on it, Mike. You got it. I, it's like, like my special <laughs> our farts, like Mike's, Mike's the guy, all this shit. You know? <laughs> I, I really need to like grow up a little bit. That's my self-awareness for the day. Like I, I focus on this shit way more. It's more important to me than any policy. I've got to be honest. It's the role for me. When you are rolling it around in your hand <laughs> yeah. and you are just like what? playing with it, shape, just morphing it into different shapes. <laughs> and just your that is the problem. <laughs> that is the problem. <laughs> I mean, he was so explicit name? about it. Like you, s- like you see it. Like th- there's a clear shot of him just, and I just, oh my it's, God. it's like, it, I don't even know what to say they're anymore. All immature, they're very, they're, they, they lack. It, oh, I, that's disgusting. <laughs> that's disgusting. I don't even. Ew. That's that's wild. I I did not know it's that. So so, so I, yeah. I, I just you're the welcome, man everyone. I'm so lied sorry. about it. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just thought he lied about every aspect of his life, including how no, his own did. mother died no, on 9 11 and all that other stuff. But well, there's there's more. It, it just it just goes on and on and on. At, like at what point? It, it, like I I just don't know the logical end to any of this. Where where are we going to arrive with George Santos? It's like what like because the, the the possibilities are infinite. <laughs> Back to your camera's frozen. Uh, is it still frozen? No, not for me. It's, it's oh, all y'all can see her? For me. Oh, she's frozen for me. So yeah. then forget it. Oh, no. I w- okay. I w- look, I, w- I hope I'm frozen in a cute, like, way. <laughs> you talking. You never, you never want to be in that freeze frame, right? You never want to be I, like... My face is crazy. <laughs> you know, like... 
<laughs> I do not do very good freeze frames. Uh, so I was doing some YouTube shorts for a couple of weeks just to kind of like mess around with it. I swear to God, every single uh, thumbnail that it auto generated was me soy facing. Every single one, 99.9% like like of them. That one? Yeah. Like the pointing so, of the, one, oh, wow. One of my followers literally made a Wojak of me soy facing uh, in oh, wow. response to that. It was beautiful, but it's just like, I don't know why YouTube <laughs> would do me like that. <laughs> I got a message in my chat from uh, Parker here says, Rebecca Azor on Leftist Mafia, OMG, this is the most amazing thing ever. I watch your show, like it or not, all the time. I can't believe you're on here, exclamation mark. You're welcome. Oh. Hey. That, that, that is all Ole. Look, that's all her. She really, wherever she is on this, um, where, where, how you can see us. But um, she she thought of me as she always does, and I really appreciate that. She lights up the show when she visits our show, so I'm glad that she was able to bring me onto this platform with you all. It's nice to to be here. Um, I know that when we were on, when we are on uh, the rising, we've never been able to cross paths except for one time, and I was there for mm. two seconds. And uh, <laughs> so it's nice to actually get to be on another platform and yeah. chit chat. With, they should with, let you two co-host together. That'd be great. They, they, they won't do that, but that that'd be great. <laughs> you know it'll, they it'll never happen. fucking happen. That's, <laughs> they, they only allow one smart person per month yeah. on a panel, <laughs> and then that's it. So this yeah, would like rip a hole in it. the space-time continuum so if they were both on at the same so time. And, and then two, yeah. two like um, we have strong personalities, right? And so um, being there and having conversations and us. You know, probably agreeing then, with most things and, you know, but but talking about it in different ways. I like that yeah. about us because I love how Olay can really, she is a wordsmith. And I love how she can really hit you off, off the top of the dome. And I can pull out examples and I can talk about it from experience. And as a journalist, you know, give you some stats or whatever. But while we're sitting there, they wouldn't like that because they no. want to see two people going at it. That's why they didn't have, I feel, this is my personal opinion, that's why they didn't mm -hmm. have us on um, uh, on together. Um, the Rising is very, um, has to be what they perceive, what they think are opposite ends of politics. Mm -hmm. So if me and me and Rebecca are classified the same way, they're not going to have us both on the exactly. same One of us was a conservative talking to then 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 yeah but also no but also the audience hates um both of us individually together so together there will be a mass unsubscription <laughs> like, yeah, they hate us so much wait, because it's like wait, in wait, their you, mind, i've seen them have two conservatives we're both caribbean at that and then so i know when i got on there the first time or when i'm in any conservative spaces they'll you know i'll mention when i first got on the rising my story was about title 42 and i was at the time it was haitians under the bridge um and i had a cousin you know who i was trying to get from under the bridge and we were discussing that and um they were like, well, you go back to where you came from. You mutt, you this and that. And I've been getting that since 2017. Jeez. And so, you know, Olay, she has an accent. And I think it's a beautiful one. But the people will just go off. Our nails is a... I could be saying something so profound. Something so that is just means a lot. And they're like, why is she here with those nails? Why is she here with those nails? It looks like I'm... What I'm is wrong going. with these fucking people? That's, that's so oh, yeah. weird. Yeah, no, they, 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 hate, they hate your guts. They really they really do hate your fucking guts. Um, and it really don't ever be for some you could you could guess what it is. But no, in my case, I first of all, I don't look at the comments. Um from from yeah. from I figured out way back when like they're not gonna be fucking with my mental health um but two uh they don't even I'm telling you the minute they see my face on the thumbnail they hit mute on the computer and they just get to type in they'd be like <laughs> <laughs> I, don't have I have an opinion my opinion is about to be pronounced <laughs> I, what, who let her be a lawyer why is she wearing that why is she dressed like this she definitely think I hate exactly. her they just I'm like oh. I, I suppose. Oh my god. Like, yeah, nah, they don't, they would never, that'll never happen. People, I get those comments, like, people constantly ask me about Rising, which is, like, I'm like, it's not, I don't work for, I don't, you know, I've done a certain amount of guest hosting there, whatever, but I'm not even there that regularly um, anymore, but people ask me about it all the time, and I'm like, let these dreams go, babies. Like, all these, like, they're not, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> just let it leave you literally just uh, a couple of days ago i got like a question on instagram on my ask ask a question and somebody somebody said oh would you host rising full-time if they asked you to sweetie 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 just, just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that dream's not happening yeah <laughs> 
different dreams. <laughs> and if they won't let you be yourself, as I'm frozen, it's me. Too. Yeah, you, you are actually frozen. They now. won't. Oh yeah, it did you... freeze for me too. Still, still not yeah, I'm me. just frozen. Yeah, you're, you're good. You go to my stream. You're That's so frozen. bizarre. Oh. It's so weird. No, I'm looking at it live on on YouTube, and I see that I'm frozen. But um, mm. yeah, they won't let you be yourself at all. As I'm frozen, I hate this picture that I'm frozen in. But they won't let you be yourself <laughs> at all. Let me match the energy. Uh, they won't let you be yourself at all. Um, but you, and by that I mean you can be yourself. But they want you to be just that one portion. And I want people to understand that you know we're not monoliths. So when we're coming on there, there's a certain energy that we can come on. And I feel like if it's acceptable for the host to come on with that energy, we should be able to be allowed to um, have that to keep that same energy what, as well. What about like the, the the breakdown? You know, when you see that like that chart on the right side it's like i want to bring oh, this yeah. whole kind of take like is, is that something uh that everyone gets to write themselves like what's like on you your radar like, oh our yeah what's on your radar, radar that, that, whole, that yeah. whole thing uh we so our radars we write our our own radars um entirely mm. on our own there's no real um I write them all my radars. I write it and i send it to them and they and they put it up there they um they choose the little um the little things that they'll like tick off based on what points. Oh, they think okay. Are I was curious about that. Yeah, you can ask. You can you know clarify. Mm. Or, you know, be like, oh, put that or something or whatever. But yeah, you write the radar in and of it on your own. You decide what you want it to be about. Mm, okay. So, yes, that is that is the process. But yeah, yeah, people people dream that. Oh, by the way, I was supposed to plug this at the beginning of the show. This reminds me, I am launching my call-in show, Tea Time with Olay, now. So every Thursday after Leftist Mafia, if you want to talk to me still, you should go over to call-in. I don't know how you... I would give Lance the links and stuff. I put the tweet. I don't know how anything goes. But if you go on my Twitter right now, I should be at the top of the Twitter, the link in my call-in. Um, in the show. Yes. And so we're going to talk, have fun discussions about pop culture and politics and lighthearted and mass and jokes. And you can listen along live or you can raise your hand and come speak to us. And so Rebecca is going to be my first guest host <laughs> tonight. Um, so, yeah, nice. don't, don't subscribe to that. I'm excited. I'm excited. Are you going to put clips on YouTube? Because YouTube is like my main video <clears throat> watching. I should. You've got to you've got to launch a YouTube channel. I'm going. The, no, I'm the, the people front want front. it. I am in the process, just for the record, I'm, I'm in the process of developing um, a show, but I want to do okay. it. Okay. I'm in the yeah. process. We are in the the process, okay. but I want to do it right. Um, so it's coming, but in the interim, y'all have me here. Y'all have okay. me here. Yeah, well, call in. That's that's awesome. pretty cool. I, I need to download the call in app. Yeah, maybe yeah. I'll call in. No, I won't. Yeah, I won't do that. No, I'll let people talk. <laughs> like Ole um, gets on these platforms that I've never heard of, and I love it because she exposes me to them. Because you know me, I'm OG, and I'm like, okay, YouTube, Facebook, live, same, Twitter, yeah. You know, they, people just put me on the Twitch, and then there's um another one um that pe that they watch our show yeah. on. And if anybody who's wa who watches my show who's watching right now, don't hate me, but I. I do know all the platforms, but there's this one that they just introduced me to um, about a year ago, and I'm trying to remember the name. But there are these different platforms that everybody uses, and you'll be surprised. It's like it's a whole crowd of people that will yeah. watch mm. you from these different platforms. So Colin, Colin um, is my first time hearing about it, but I am happy to join you on that. And I'm proud of you because yeah. I've been saying, listen, girl, get your own stuff. If you, yeah. if you ever, and how you are on social media and how people try to put you in a box, it's like, you're too amazing to be placed in a box. And I think that you deserve your own space to have your own conversations the way you want to um, mm. without it being watered down. So I, I'm happy that for that Thank for you. You're a boss you, girl. Boo. You should get that for yourself. Thank you, boo. Yeah, I want it to be fun. You know, I do a lot of, obviously, y'all know, y'all, when I'm on the news, obviously, and very serious, da da da. And I can be very serious and pivot to that very quickly. But I like jokes. I like mass. I like pop culture. I want to talk about other things. Mm -hmm. I want to not have to be, you know, 190% like that at every point in time I'm talking about the most serious of matters. And I very often I go on, I do a lot of people's shows, a lot of people's shows. And I feel like people will rely on me for their engagement and their jokes and their hype and their energy. And that's why I find out about these platforms. And I'm like, why the fuck am I keep getting forth? You know what I mean? I might as well just do my, my own thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know, I'm already streaming on Thursdays with y'all anyway. I'm already up here on y'all saying I might as well do. I've been on calling this. That's fun. And I got me. I also love the artwork. I don't know if you've seen it, but my oh, it's art, beautiful. My artist snapped. Um, I don't know if you've seen it. He did he did my hands. It's holding the little teacup. You know, hold on, let me just show you. Let me just show you all of my phone was looking at. Oh, I think so. I know there was another artist that you that you said um that you sent us. It was like an animation too yes, that was gonna oh, do all of us. That we're going to that is still happening. That's very much so. Okay, okay. This is my tea time. Oh, oh yeah, that's amazing. 
Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Um, what is the movie? Um, what movie? The movie with um that the peel guy made. Why do I? Oh, not 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 uh, not um. Oh shit! Not get, get out. out. Rebecca, get the hell God, out! Rebecca, God damn you, Rebecca! But listen, and that's, that's for all the right. I think that's for anybody who's hating on your stuff. We gonna spend. We gonna make sure we tap the tea, the, the teacup. Get <laughs> out. Funny. Someone said. Someone commented. They're like, oh, and you love purple too, because all my stuff is purple, and I left it. Yeah. Fun fact: I hate the color purple. My um, really? Is that the, <laughs> Even the, the Pokemon? Onesie? Like Gengar, Gengar, that's my yeah. That's my dude. Uh huh. Yes. I love, I love that. Purple. Yes. And I and yeah, you said I got Bulbasaur. <laughs> over there. Um, no. So what happened is, yeah, Bulbasaur was over there in amongst the plants. You see that on him? Oh, oh yes. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have Stitch down there uh, from Lilo and Stitch. I have, and then I have Grey Worm from uh, Game of Thrones. I have two Prince Funko Pops. It's, a, it's a party over there. I love all the nerdy shit that we discover each week in your, yeah. uh, in yeah, your house. It's just so cool. Smalls over there. Except <laughs> like, for you, David. David, it's always just like a green screen. We, we I never know. Get any, I need a second uh, camera why would you so let I can us spin in? it around or something. Why, why would you let us into your nerdery? Like, you gotta, you gotta just drop some I don't, stuff right now. Because my, my nerdery is all over, like, the, the house. It's all over the floor. It's in drawers. I, <laughs> I, you know, I don't have it out on walls, but I should. Yeah. My nerdery is not like in my studio, but I'm kind of like David, where I have a bunch of nerdy shit everywhere too. Um, because yeah, yeah, I, Look, I love it. There's nothing I love nerdy, nerdy shit. in my home. It's pretty black girl everywhere. There's a black girl I think on each side of my wall. It's three black girls right here. It's a black woman I just bought a few months back. It's a black woman over here in the corner. I have some of those too. I yeah. have some black girl art there. But my house is actually Wait. I'm I'm a I'm a nerd to the highest order actually is funny um like a real anime nerd to the, to the deepest level i i obviously have a mur murals to dragon ball z out there. i love your living mm -hmm. space with the mix of all of that yeah it's your it's very you um yeah. you have like all your your anime mix and then with your black I, art and then it's, it's just really nice. black. I, like it. I blackify all my cartoons i have like black dexter from dexter's laboratory in my um in my room i, I have black dexter. Black, yeah, they're black. I, like how you say I black was thinking the serial killer for a Laboratory. second when you That's said what I was thinking. Dexter. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I thought of the cartoon right away. Oh, yeah. That, oh. Oh, My dad says but, it just like that. Love it. I love the breakdown of syllables. But, but wait, Rebecca, um, you don't have any nerdy stuff in your house at all? Not a no, single thing? I actually, it's very Rebecca nice. Rebecca's diva. Rebecca is the original diva. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm like a fake hot girl. You can be a diva and a nerd, nerd and, at and, the same and, time. And that's mm. what you get with Olay. The that's original Olay. diva. People, people will say, yes, I probably, yeah, my space is kind of, you know, a little, a little diva-ish. But um, I, <laughs> I had, um, if you guys know him on, um, he's, he's, like done a lot for our show and why am I not getting his name right now? Damn it. He right he draws us all the time. He drew you, Ole, me and you. Oh, letter, um, oh yeah. Letter hack. Letter, letter, so, oh, yeah. letter hack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, yeah, he also, yeah, he's awesome. He's yep. he's actually he he drew me as because I wanted what? him to um to draw this, me as this Goku. is letter hacks right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, letter, letter <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh he, yeah. He drew me as Goku. I wanted him to draw me as Goku, um, the Super Saiyan, and he did. Black girl in a cute little outfit, but you know, in in the whole thing, and I loved it because I grew up off that Dragon Ball Z, and so um he drew me as that, and I lived for it. So that's awesome. I mean, Can so, you show us? Because he he draws. A, um, us a very often in different ways, and I need to print those out and put them on the Because I want to see it. I love letter that. Hack. The letter hack. He, he drew me and Rebecca together. No, I, I appreciate something I, striking. I, I Matt Strackbine's his name. Out. Matt Strackbine. Yeah. 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 yeah he's Rebecca great, he, and he he has these really huge like almost murals that he makes of just like all indie podcasters and yeah, media personalities. Did. That's what he it's did. He so made cool. That. And, and and he had me and Olay sitting next to each other. Oh. And I thought that was the best thing because it was so gossipy. But it was like, so we like, I, like I love to each other in the picture. And I was like, oh, <laughs> our friends, we do gossip to each other. Because very often people will just lump us in with anybody. And like anybody who's a black woman, they will just, and it's always crazy. Man, but it, it, like even not just the people who dislike you, but your quote unquote fans that listen to you will lump you in with people that I'm like, if you were really listening, there's no fucking way you think I like this person or me and this person are, is like-minded. But I don't say anything mm -hmm. all the time, and I'm like, I don't, I don't, 
that's not my homie. Stop associating with who you. I appear on mm. lots of shows, lots of things, da 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 da. But I'm like, true. this is my homegirl for real. Yeah. Not even trying to fangirl. I've been in this space, like I said, since 2017. I've been doing this, and I used to work on a really bl- big platform. I worked after that for a really big activist in the space too and I've met so many people and it's just never it's just weird in these spaces because you meet people and you really trying to do the work and they're on air and they're trying to do the work as soon as they get off and I can't lie I tune out too um after the shows to kind of zen back in because it's a lot when you when you're really trying to do the work but these people will be like girl please I really like Nah, and I'm like, wow, I'm here. I'm thinking that people are so for the job, for the people, and there. And then that's when I realized it's a it's in both parties, in both parts, in yes. both all through the mm. activism world or all through the space um, where people are journalists or podcasters. It's just like people are not authentic um, and mm. show themselves to be. And I won't put anybody out like you won't put them lawyers out. Um, but you know, when I met her, I'm like, oh, she is really about this. She's about she. Her stories and policing, she has educated me a lot. So I'm like, oh, no, I like this girl. I like this girl. She's very authentic. She's very true. So, yeah, yeah she's the homie. Right, right, go ahead. Yeah. So uh, can, I, can I give a, a quick shout out to Letterhack, who's also in uh, yeah. the surf's chat right now. So hi, Letterhack. Oh, uh, yeah. welcome oh to hey. hey. Everyone that's praising you, loves your art. It's, yeah. We love you. <laughs> Love, love you yeah. so much. Love you so much. And every time I get into his stream, because he streams, I think, weekly, um, and he streams new art that he's doing with someone else in this space. And it's a lot of us in this space. Um, and he, if I'll come in, he'll be like, we have a celebrity in the room. And I'm like, stop it. <laughs> and he makes everybody feel like good. And I, I love right. that. I love how he draws us. I don't um, realize how many yeah. people are in this space until he draws those giant murals. And it's like, oh, my God, <laughs> there's like so many of us. <laughs> Yeah. What I want to know is is how the people like who who got left out like of this big ass thing with this many people. All the dipshits like, got left out. That's who. Got left like, yeah. Out. The, the, anyone who's a dumb dumb is completely out. Yeah. Let her hack is good cool politics. People. He knows. Look at there. Look at me look. and Rebecca. That's, I love and that. And he got it right. And, I love how he gets the details. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, I love it. He's 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 a he is an artist. Um, and I hope he's sensitive about his stuff. That, that's and he why needs he to sell it. I told him to to sell Agreed. prints, and I ain't seen no thing mm-hmm. yet for prints because I'll buy me one. Yeah, I would love to, if you mm-hmm. draw me. If you're looking to make I'll, some I'll money, put it in the background. Some, that, if there's right one there, commentator yeah. that yeah. can pander to, it's me. You draw me, sell it to me. I will buy <laughs> that's why I'm saying I need to print out what he's done so I can put it on my wall because he is everything that he's drawn of me. He's drawn me, um, as, um, in, in my culture, uh, there's like, he, like a spiritual form in, in my culture of, of, of being a Haitian person. And he drew me in this, uh, this perfect manner for my birthday. And I just felt so drawn to that, that, um, that drawing that he did. Well, I and get all that, let her he, have. Oh no, he, he, cause he, he really, he watches and he sees how you are and he just like, he's one with you. And then when he, he when sees he gets a, a drawing, he, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, pause. <laughs> No, pause the track. No, no, shh. Everybody, shh. Everybody quiet, quiet, quiet. Who, shh. Who among us? Who else among us has any individual uh, portraits by the I letter? Have no, 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 shh. Everybody better back. Better back. Dude, did y'all get any special? I think I have a few, actually. Just to see? see? That David. <laughs> I have one, too, yeah. Do y'all got one? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? So fuck me then. So fuck me. It's fuck me. It's fuck me. He got no. one of you. No, he did one of you in pop. He did this pop culture one where he had he had you on there. I to, seen it. To be wow. fair, you're, you're you're fairly like new on the scene in yes. terms of like a lot of us here have been doing this shit for like five years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Defensive statement. laughs> no, okay. I'm, I'm not gonna let her back. He has you separately a few times. I think like two. <laughs> Two different times. He got you in the pop culture one, and I love the way he drew you in that. So you asked him to send you that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's the friendliest of shade. Okay, that is super friendly. Oh. But <laughs> to be fair, Ole, like. You you kind of like at least to me I found out about you in 2022 when I when I was reacting to you on Rising I'm like who the fuck is this who's smart yeah, on same Rising here. but yeah. then like yeah, you you like, blew up fuck, so quick to where we are Rising like however long it took us to like oh, get yeah, to it, the platform yeah. we are you blew up so fast she she was on my show one day 
And I was like, girl, you booked and busy. Can we get you on? Can we, can you scratch? Can you schedule us in? Because she was on my show one day and like, we were like, let's keep getting her on. David, um, our producer, David was like, there's this girl. I saw her online. I mean, she's not anywhere else right now, but I see her on this law show. Um, and I, we got to get her. And I was like, okay, let's bring her on. And then she, the day she got on, I was like, no, this girl, no, this girl is the truth. And then, I mean, like, it wasn't even like three out, three hours later. It wasn't <laughs> even like that. She was out of here on 17 different other platforms or not. And I said, listen, one thing about it is I love, I love to see other people winning. And I just, I loved it. I loved it for her. And I was like, girls, just schedule me and pin, pin me in to, to, uh, on one of these days to come back on the show. And, and yet, Oliver, and yet, and like yet, where's my, right, John Oliver did happen. And the Breakfast Club did happen. And That's the people, right. Oh, yeah. Where's yeah. my comic the letter hack? You said, look, let her hack. Just do one. Just do a personality. Do a personality drawing for her, and that, and he'll probably do that. He, I know he listens a lot. Oh, so he I'm will. Pretty yeah. sure on it's this coming. next uh, live that he does, it'll probably be a personality um, um, shoot or a drawing for Ole. Mm -hmm. That's so funny. <laughs> I am I'm an out and proud Leo, okay? I, I very much I love <laughs> Look, you see me me being a Taurus, like, okay, okay, girl, we gon it's gonna happen. Let's I love being thought about. I love being thought about I can draw you, Ole. I'm a you know, I'm I'm somewhat of an artist myself. I drew <laughs> Trump in twenty twenty, and that was the first drawing that I did since I was a kid. That shit is the funniest fucking thing. Like I drew it and I was completely sober. I laughed hysterically for like 10 minutes. I have to find it and I'll send it to you. Yeah, was, People know what I'm talking it. about. I need to Maybe see. the chat can find it. It's it's my Trump portrait and I'm going to oh. do one of every single president. That's going to be my like contribution. For some reason um, you just reminded me of something like totally unrelated, but I had meant to, I had meant to bring it up episodes ago, um, and suddenly, y'all know Lance and David didn't watch the grassy. I don't know if it was David too, but I know Lance didn't. I think it's David too. Y'all know that shit. Do y'all yeah, know those ladies and did not? The '80s the grassy. You're, you're American. I'm just gonna let you slide. <laughs> okay, thank you. Like, <laughs> but Americans, sorry, Canadians have no excuse, right? It's like you, know how you sick lose I your was? passport if you don't know that shit. <laughs> I, you know how hype I was. I was in my house watching, watching um videos about Degrassi compilations and Degrassi reviews, and there's a character for all you cultured people who watch Degrassi. Please let there be some cultured Canadians on the streams and people who watch Degrassi. You remember Jay? Remember Jay who be at the ravine giving Emma the STD who was dating Manny? Jay. Don't Lance. Don't <laughs> so, that look so like Lance. Terrible. Don't that look like Lance <laughs> evil twin? I'm watching and I'm like, oh shit. This looks just like Lance. I text, I go, I go rush into my DMs to, 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 to DM Lance like Lance. <laughs> yeah, I was I, I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. I was I was like, I know I'm gonna lose my Canadian passport by admitting that I don't watch the grassy. And that it actually made like Drake's career, but uh, yeah, I don't know who that is. Well, really. oh, I see. Okay, I so think, I think that Oleg is gonna have to, um, you know, we're gonna have to meet outside about this one because I, you didn't watch the grassy either, you didn't watch the grassy either. I don't understand. <laughs> it's like it, 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 it hurts me. Okay. I feel like there's a lot of judgment. In these eyes. You act that with disappointment, <laughs> but then disgust. And I don't, just don't understand the like, like the lack of understanding and support I get in my life. Like y'all just have to understand. Like I'm ready. I'm ready to shed tears. Like yeah. uh, <laughs> no, no, we were so, disgusted. And that's so why I oh my god, that. my best friend just texted me in caps lock. See, I'm not the only one who doesn't watch the grass. I'm really <laughs> okay. No, I'm okay. okay. Because, no, okay, it's best friend. painful because sometimes, <laughs> <laughs> like, very rarely, very rarely do I have some white people shit that I really, I really like. And it's not, <laughs> it's, it's not even, like, I don't have white people friends. I'm hosting a show with five white people. And I still have nobody to talk about the a grass. Show, I'm so show. sad. Yo, can I no. tell y'all, can I see this? Because maybe there's someone in the oh. audience. Who, who will feel my heartbreak? I need to tell. I'll be right back. It's been on my heart for months. <laughs> okay, the Vampire Diaries was one of the largest. Was that not a huge phenomenon? Like during that time, like t they loved it. It was a huge thing, huge, huge thing. Why nobody I fucking know watched it, right? So the other day, I get invited to do an episode of a podcast with Candace King, who's one of the stars of the Vampire Diaries. Like played um, Caroline. I'm, I'm hype. Like, right. my God, first of all, why does she know me as you know me? Da, da, da. I have been trying to find for like five months somebody in my life to share that with who fucking knows who what I'm talking about. <laughs> 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 I'm still be 
be in mess of resounding silence because these people clearly didn't watch the Vampire Diaries either. Why, bro? I can't even share. We're gonna meet you with more silence because you're 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 going and going about it, girl. I don't have anything to give. Um, yeah. That's it. Not Even Deg- no, like Degrassi, no I watched '80s Degrassi. I didn't watch the new one, so I didn't know who Jay was. But looking up, looking up Jay, he does look like Lance. I could see the thank resemblance. You, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you so much because Lance had the nerve. And not only did he have the nerve to not see it and not even pretend and blah blah, he True. had the nerve to act underwhelmed by the comparison. He was like, I mean, <laughs> "Okay, that's an exaggeration. I, I, I don't know if it's underwhelmed." Did you but Google I was like, I, Lance? Okay, so I, I get when people are like uh, you look like Brendan Fraser. I was like, okay, that makes sense to me. And when you showed me that example, I was like, I, I don't. Don't see it right out of the gates, kind of thing. Whereas, like, there's I other do see Brendan Fraser more than than Jay. I do. <laughs> it feels like y'all saying that to me feels like when nobody knew like Hannah Montana and Miley were the same bitch. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, I'm <laughs> like, watch Hannah I'm Montana. stressed out. That like, was crazy I'm, I'm too. Like, oh, now my friend just typed in caps lock, bro. He does look like Brandon Fraser. I fucking yeah. hate. Him. I hate him. <laughs> I, I, yeah, <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> Look, me and best friend are, are oh, right funny. here with it. Okay. Mm-hmm. By the well, way, Ole, I, I sent the photograph or the portrait, I should say, uh, that I drew of Trump. Uh, check your Twitter messages. Right it's in the the so uh, leftist dollars? mafia one. Yeah, yeah, I drew have that. We, uh, I'm very proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> your face is so good. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there was a way to share it so the audience can see it too. Oh, I, oh no, I, I, I'm showing it on screen on my screen right now. <laughs> there everyone you go. Can, everyone can see it. This is oh, happening in like real I've time. I've seen this drawing though. <laughs> it's, it went viral. <laughs> my community was very proud of it. So, like my little Patreon community, this they have that as their like their icon now. For that is hilarious. Why are you like this, sir? It's not bad though. But I can tell it's him. It's not bad. No, no, no. It, it is quite good. Yeah. At it, my first, um, at my first political um, job that I worked at, and they had Donald Trump on the toilet seat, on the 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 head of the toilet seat, and I'm like, well, <laughs> so is this meant for the guys to pee on it? Because you know, girls use this bathroom too, and but they had it right there, and they never removed it. It was there until the last day, until we left. But that thing was there forever, and I'm pretty sure it was just full of pee. It was just ridiculous. <laughs> That's so I hated gross. it. I so hated that. Type time. in the chat shows up on the screen. I'm just gonna... uh yes. I'm a, I'm a, I don't know. How it, it does works. for I'm Lance. Not... It doesn't for me. I, I don't know why that happens. It, it, ha- okay. it does well, for me. I posted the link to my call in. That's if you want to subscribe to. Oh, it there you go. I'll... Yeah. I've also I, I linked to your Twitter page below this video on YouTube in the description box. So if they go to your Thank YouTube you. or your your Twitter page, they should be able to find it. Yeah, I'm yeah I do the same. I try to link to everyone's link tree or like their most. Uh, biggest platform on like whenever I uh, post the VOD to my YouTube channel. So um, I'll add Rebecca as well, of course. But um, yeah. yeah, I always try to try to keep you all in the loop so you can follow others as well. And by the way, I saw a couple of comments. I just want to um, let everyone know that Matt Bender will be back next week. And Blair was having issues with what did you say, Ole? Like her internet was out. She moved. She just moved, and so she doesn't. Have oh, internet. so she doesn't even have it yet. Yeah. So yeah. um, she'll be back too. So. Well, there'll be some weeks where like some of us don't come on, but I think that bringing on guests is a good way to kind of like fill in the uh, no, but fill in but the Olay comes absences. on all the time. She's gonna be in perfect. Thank time. you. She's gonna be perfect. Thank, thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. I'm I'm never I'm never gonna miss. <laughs> never I have it I have it locked blocked off on my calendar for Thursdays and definitely for the rest of all time. <laughs> Olay will be here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You might, for all the people that cannot stand me and literally wish I would talk less, I know they just now are like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, girl, I think they're going to they're gonna want to hear more of you. And I think, you know, if people follow you, if they follow your Twitter, anybody who follows your Twitter is just like, yeah, it's going to be a good show. Listen, yeah. that's mm-hmm. why tea time, tea time. I let people talk. Um, how do you yes. do, let me ask you a question. Like, with, with any of you guys, when you, how do you respond? Because Olay does it. Where I'm like, girl, you got the time, honey. And and you have the words. You have the ammunition. I'm tired. People be coming at me and I'm just like, get somebody else to do it. And it's Olay. <laughs> Olay is the somebody else who's going to do it. Um, but like, how do you answer back to the trolls? Because back in the day, I used to go toe-to-toe with them. And then I got tired and I really don't care. But mm-hmm. Olay will go find your whole family. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> she she won't post all of them because that's doxing. She'll she'll do she'll she'll be right at the tip, and she will really disrespect every single person, even somebody's unborn child. I be talking uh, about crazy. It gets think. crazy on there, and I'm like, girl, it's it's like a movie. It's just no, crazy. I, I I wanna I wanna I wanna <laughs> announce this to the public that I've I've decided to change this year. Um, I listen you. Ooh, listen, this is the year I'm not I'm not arguing back with people. And if you've noticed, I haven't. Yeah, I know I know it doesn't seem like a lot because we're only five days into the year, but there have been hundreds of times now that I've exercised restraint. Not, y'all, not y'all, hundreds. No, I'm really I'm really y'all don't understand. I'm doing I'm doing so much better. You know how many times today I'm like I'm really I'm trying to not live a life of carrying on bad about about everything because I'm one, I don't want to annoy the shit out of people because my you know, my best friend started hating on Ari Lennox when Ari started complaining too much about um, people hating on her. And I maintain Ari has the right, okay? People was talking crazy, but my best friend was like that. And so now I have that in the back of my mind, like, all right, I gotta I gotta rein myself in before they rein me in. Um, that's my one. But two, I'm just like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna cross over into I think Twitter and the internet can make you make you develop a short a short fuse and mm-hmm. like see things a lot more um, harshly than you're supposed to. And in my case, I got anxiety and stress and quite literally a node from stress right here. Literally, the doctors are like, for every time that I do this, like I calcify a little piece of stress right here, and I'm not. Oh, no. I'm literally. It sounds like I'm cracking jokes, but I'm dead ass. I had to get no, a, yeah, so a trigger way. injection spot here from stressing myself the fuck out. Damn. So, I am I am relaxing this year. I am doing my best Good. not to tell people about their ass. But that being said, how in general, my spirit is wild. I can't help it. My natural impulse sometimes is that before I even realize, I do everything fast. I walk fast. I talk fast. I type fast. So I'm Caribbean. Out fast. As soon as I see it, I'm like, who the fuck? I know. <laughs> and then you see, and this right here, no, that's when you know it's it's over for everybody. If you, it's this, it's over for everybody. Okay. But I'm being I'm being good. No, I honestly think everybody everybody else on the show, every single co-host in the show, I think takes uh. Is is more receptive to the bullshit than than I am. I'm sure. I like I feel like, like you. I, I, I have a lot of people to say a negative. You just get used to it. Yeah. yeah, I'm a, I, I'm in the same boat, uh, boat as Rebecca. I just don't care anymore. Um, yeah. I I responded to one YouTube comment today. Uh, I just I don't even know why I looked at the comments, but I looked and somebody was like, oh, it's funny. Mike didn't say this. And I just posted the link to me saying what they said I didn't say or talk about. And then they responded. Yeah, but you didn't do this. I'm like, this is why I don't do this. Nothing shit. Like, there's yeah, no yeah. Way. they won't, they won't be happy. Will ever be good for people in this space. And I realized that in the beginning mm-hmm. when I first started doing it, it's people will talk about what I have on. People will talk about how I'm how I'm talking. People will talk about the way I may stutter or sometimes my accent comes out or if I'm saying, um, 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 or you because I like to say, you know, you know, and they'll hate I it. Do they, too, don't, yeah. they don't like it. They, they want me to speak you in a certain way. Then they want to take my degrees away from me. She's not educated. Mm. Why is she here? What does she do? Um, and, and I think for me, it's like you can just Google me or you can. I don't care. I don't give a damn anymore. But back in the day, it used to be like mm. you and your mama so ugly and da, 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 da. and I used to just go in and I used to I used to just go and we'll go for days like I'm I'm it's a month down the line and me and this person are still going at it and I'm like at this point no oh, no I'm I, not gonna block you I'm mm-hmm. not gonna block I mean I'm not gonna run on with you I'm just gonna nuke the place that's always been that's something I've had yeah, that's what you do. As a human being in general, that's something independently of life I had to like work out in therapy. I realized like because I, my therapist figured this out a couple of years, well, a few years ago, but because I will not draw boundaries, I will just in my mind think I'm constantly giving this person grace, you know, but they don't know that. Yeah. They don't know the problem in my mind because I'm exercising so much grace. So, but at the time I do decide to say something or whatever it is, it's like, oh, okay, oh. boom. There's no, I don't, yeah. I don't do like a confrontate, like, oh, let's work this out, let's like discuss that, da, 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 da. I just immediately, I'm like, let the chopper sing. You have me. You have had me. And so I line and it's very like, what you and, just, and, and then I'm they crying. hold you to that. They hold you to that person instead of, look, they don't, how incredibly intelligent you may be, how well-spoken you are or whatever. Now they're coming at mm. you, calling you all kinds of names and you're not saying anything. You're not doing anything. They're sending you DMs that are disrespectful. I, I've had a whole YouTube um, uh, devoted to me about, my nails and all this other stuff or how I looked instead of what I was talking about. And it was really important what I was talking about. Um, and, and the, 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 that news clip that I was talking about actually had like over a million hits, but the person didn't give a damn about that. They were worried about 
what I looked like in my nails. And they had a whole YouTube devoted to that. And all the people in the comment section were joining in on it. And that frustrated me. And it can it can wear and tear on your mental. It can definitely do that. Uh, oh, and I was yeah. ready to go toe to toe with everybody because that's how I used to do it. My mouth used to be, I didn't care. But then I felt like at a point in time, I'm like, none of these people are really paying my bills. The world mm -hmm. is effed up right now. Every yeah. time I get off of here, somebody else is dying. I am just tired. I became depressed. Like you said, it, it wears on your health. And like your your um your therapist and your doctor were telling you to slow it down. Um it's natural in you. I already see that. That's that's <clears throat> your demeanor. It's natural in you to go off. But yes, I want you to be healthy. And sometimes this this whole thing that everybody is doing here we have had days that where it's probably almost taken us out and oh, it, it fucked with my head when i first started if you go back and you look at the first couple of videos that i posted to youtube like i i had like my my family was always poor and so i didn't have nice clothes so i bought like a five dollar shirt from walmart with a button up and like a little tie <laughs> and like i swear Wait, to God, this is the second video i posted that? Yeah, they're like, you're cl you Americans dress so cheap. You look like a fucking Mormon. And I straight, I swear to God. So oh if you God. look at my teeth, I had really crooked teeth. I got braces because of YouTube comments. And because they like gave me a fucking complex. And I never thought about that. I never Holy thought about shit. my teeth in that way. It never bothered me, but it like, it stuck with me so much. And so like to think that they yeah. actually made me take action yeah. to get braces. And now it's just like. I don't even give a fuck at all. Like they could say anything and it wouldn't even like penetrate my skull. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it, but it, it has just, to like, be like a, a, a good critique, something that, uh, that is, you know, f from an honest place, someone that isn't a troll, but if you see just a troll, mm -hmm. like, I don't, it, yeah, it's not worth engaging with it. Although if you, if you are to mm -hmm. engage with it, I think the best way to do is the way Olay does it, where it's one message and done. Like don't get into yeah. a back and forth. Cause then she that's just a lot of work. Inside. Like it's just not worth it. It shows yeah. that Olay is mm -hmm. alive inside. I feel like everybody else is dead inside. No, I'm Olay not sure. is alive <laughs> inside. She still got it. And she's dead. Listen. Yeah. It, <laughs> well, it, and the, the the difference though between Olay and I think like myself at least, I can only speak for me, is that I feel like you have the confidence. And if you're engaging with confidence true. and they can't really like tear you down, yeah. there is a difference. I mean, it's still gonna wear on your mental yeah. health, of course. But like for me, I didn't have the confidence, so it's just like, oh, they say this that my true. voice sounds faggy. I'm like, I you know, do I talk like this. Like I don't know what to do about that. You know what I mean? It gets to you. No, you know, that, confidence very much so is a real thing. And I've uh, assessed that up recently. Like, I realized, and, and thank God, honestly, because it wasn't mm -hmm. always, it's not like my entire life, I think, like, I've never had moments or anything like that. But I will say, I do realize that I genuinely, a lot of the things they'll, they'll go to say, it's like, I actually just dis a fucking agree. Like, they'll be like, they're mm -hmm. like, I saw a comment that someone DM me, and, or I always saw a comment, they were like, they were like, I fucking hate, I'm trying to watch the video, but I just hate her hands. I hate how they're just her nails. And I'm like, Oh, I think I, I really think it's really wavy. When I watch my videos, I love my nails. I love my I love my hands. I love the whole energy. Amen. But they're like, oh, I hate how you talk. I just actually disagree. I'm like, I the honest to God truth is I would like me if it weren't me. If I was somebody else, if I would watch it, I'd be like, I'd like that bit. So I'm so I'm sorry, That's you can't good. make me dislike me. I'm like, I fuck with and I just also don't hold myself to a standard of, of perfection. I think like the mm. things that women I feel like there are a lot of complaints or general things you'll see, like when you watch Mean Girls and all the girls are like in the mirror, like my pores, my this, my blah. I've never been like that. Like there's certain things that mm -hmm. I just generally expect. Like you're gonna have cellulite, you know, stretch marks. Like who gives a? I don't give a flying fuck. Who the fuck is holding me to this, to this, to this standard? I'm like, listen, I'm just trying to be fly. Like you know what I mean? I'm fly. Like mm -hmm. I'm not in a world where I'm trying to be the flyest bitch on earth. I'm, I'm the star of my own life movie. I'm always gonna be the center of attention and focus. I'm in a the main character. In the main character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so my brand, the fly, is the fly that I care about. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, someone's going to think I'm real dope, and other people are not. And that's fine. You know, where I'm trying to walk the line of, I think, in public figuredom is I've always been of the mindset, and this is this works in the real world when you don't have, you're not being consumed by thousands of people. But I was always of the mindset that people don't have to like you. They're not going to like you. But the, it, and you you have your right to say, say and think whatever you want about me. But if you say it to me and I hear about it, you're going to have a fucking problem. That's all mm -hmm. I give it up. But now with media is like, oh, I can't fight the whole, the whole in it. I mean, I can, but that's not productive. Yeah. That's and I, I think that too, like you, it doesn't, this is what I've learned throughout the time. It doesn't take away from 
who you are, what you're doing, what you're standing for. People will try to strip that from you from what you look like. Rebecca wears these long nails. I've been wearing my nails like this since I was 15 years old. Never changed. Um, when I was in college, they tried to tell me to do it differently. I did it for like a year or two and absolutely hated it and reverted back to having my long curly nails or curly, my long nails and curly hair or straight hair or braids or whatever I chose to, to um to look like. And I still was, was delivering the message as I should. I still was reading the teleprompter like I should. I still was bringing in the numbers for the, um, the company that I was working for. So, but people were so stuck on what I look like. And then they would follow me and I never hid how I looked outside of the show. Uh, I might dress like this on the show. Of course, that's professionalism. And outside of it, I will be in the streets wearing what the hell I want. And the people get upset about that. We, uh, we have lives too. We are who we are. Yes. Yes. Did exactly. Y'all see, did y'all see the Reddit devote that I discovered on the weekend devoted to just my bikini pictures? Y'all are sick. Wait, y'all are what? sick. Y'all, and, and y'all no. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Reddit, Reddit thread what? or like entire Reddit section? Let me, let me, <laughs> let me find it. Come on. Like it, like a whole server. Oh, I think what? we should also add, by the way, just, just when speaking about how people, uh, you know, disparage one another and then, you know, try to fuck with you online for everybody. Mm -hmm. There's like, there's so many different terms, especially from like, I find right wing communities or really angry far right people online that actually hold no power. Like if you're like, mm -hmm. Hey, uh, you, you, uh, you're shitty because you're autistic. You're shitty because you're trans. You're shitty. Like people have called me multiple times, uh, like a uh, big lipped trans lesbian and things like that. I was like, none of that hurts me. Oh. Like none, none of that, none, none of that is an insult. I, I don't, I don't mm -hmm. like every, every single thing you've just said is not a bad thing. So, okay. But you having, know, having lips is a win for you and your people, please. That's don't they're full. Like, and they're full. Don't let them change. I just want to stop right there and pause that. We did it for yeah, the white you people. You got that hey, right. Fuck. And they're yeah, yeah we have. Okay. So we'll give you that. A win is a win. A win is a win. Right. Fellow white people, we did it. We did it. Well, <laughs> one thing that, I, that I've got to add, though, is that, like, Confidence is so important because these people, like if you're online, this goes for people even like without a platform, like they're just going to hate you no matter what. So even if you correct something that they criticize you about, like they're still going to find something else. They'll never be satisfied. So you just have to like represent yourself and be confident in who you are. Like that's that's something that you learn over time of just like building thick skin. Like at first I was very much trying to be like professional and I was in like uh, this phase where it's like, OK, no, I got to be as like. Uh, professional as I possibly can be, as proper as I could be. And then it's just yeah. like at some point you you realize that you're there's no rules to this. Like I got tattoos and shit during my my tenure as a podcast host. Like fuck professionalism. Like you have to be confident because you're always going to find people who criticize you for something. Even if you are as confident as you as you can possibly be, they'll find something. So like you just have to like ignore it. That's that's or and it, I think not let it get to you. Confident doesn't take away from your professionalism. It's it it, it right. to me can go um, hand in hand. But people, because society and um, when I used to when I first came up in news, I was doing television news, local child, and yeah. so you had to look a certain mm -hmm. kind of way. You had to wear the black, those stupid flats, mm -hmm. those stupid stupid flats <laughs> from the early <laughs> what the, the mid two thousands. I hated those shoes, but you had to you had to wear those um, and um, or the pointed toe shoes and a blazer because you wore a blazer oh. to the club and you wore a blazer to the job. But now okay. I feel like we have the freedom to be who we are and it doesn't make, we're, I mean, we're not going to come out here and just be naked on, on, on the screen, but you mm -hmm. know, we have the freedom to wear what we want um, and still be educated and still speak professionally and still do what we need to do. So yeah, mm -hmm. I find, yeah, absolutely. I find I find that my narrative is whatever I say it is. And also there's something to just doing at the end of the day, if you just do it and go, but your fucking business is done. Like, and then like, if I don't read these YouTube comments, they, they never happen. They have no bearing on what it is. Like whoever it is, just like nothing is really, people say what they want. I've seen threads and people, I have been, my body has been viral tweets of discussions of them dissecting. I don't look like a lawyer. I don't look like this, blah, blah. but I'm like, and nonetheless, I continue to do all that shit. Like all of it, like mm -hmm. not, not a one thing has, has been interrupted. So if you just do you, what they're going to do about it. Also, I found, yeah. uh, let me, let me show y'all that the, 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 this, hold on. The Reddit thread. This, let me just, I, I have it muted. You're just going to see, they just, Purely just a whole thing of they're just gonna There's just an gonna entire be thread. Uh huh. Like <laughs> I need mean, pictures. Body. <laughs> it makes you body body uncomfortable <laughs> because she's outside of being a lawyer. Internet she's stop sexy. being weird. Goddamn. What is going on? They're fans. They're, 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 they're love it. 
They, they love it. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, then whatever. Who cares? Oh, okay. This is just horny jail hair. They're not. Okay, that changes it because I thought that you they were like talking shit. You know, yeah, I, well, I, I thought this was <laughs> that was what we were talking about about people talking shit that about was you. Originally, I thought, I, I thought you were like, yeah, here's here's the worst red. I, but I, I, I have. love that for Olay because see, this this is why I say it's so different. It's so different. It's different times because back into um 2017, 2015, and things like that when you were coming up, you will get like penis pics. And all of that coming at you. And, mm. and even, you know, women, all, whoever, just coming coming in and coming at you, telling you all kinds of things. And oh, then you'll get, like I said, um, people saying racist people calling in and leaving voicemails on our line and saying stuff like, Ben, you're a terrible person. And so was that girl with you. She's kind of hot. I'll, I'll have sex with her, rape her, have her, and um, kill the kids. But. Still, you guys are. This oh is what they're God. saying. What the this is what. Yeah. Wait, what? So that was. The, <laughs> I get that. that. Was that I get the DMs, like, no, so wait, like, what? And so this is that time where no, they, they definitely say that. Girl. No, they. First of all, they still say that. They, 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 they People like, are so fucking. They're, crazy. they're like they creative in their like, fucked up behavior. Yeah, they're like, I hate fuckery. everything that comes out of her mouth, but I like to look at her. Like they'll, they'll. Yes. They'll leave those. Oh my God. If she just, if she'll, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'd like to um, hear her on mute or, um, you know, oh, those nails. Hate those nails, but I, I would like to see what they feel like. Weird. And they'd be the conservative <laughs> ones that dick hate dick. you. But they, <laughs> this calls for weird. a dick pic, it's right? Scary. Now. It's scary. Oh it's, my it's, God. It's, it's, the thing is, it's just like, you can't adjust yourself to their lens because the way they see, I think because I've seen myself reframed in so many different lenses and narratives, and I'm the same one person, but I constantly see myself perceived. And and assess different. I realized like I can't contend with this world and system because for me, I don't consider myself like like the other day I saw I'm having a whole debate that I have a hood rat persona or my whole this or they'll be talking about my aesthetic or making me have to be ghetto or whatever. That's why there's no black person. There's nobody that I, there's no black person that actually know the, that thinks that that's a lunatic. That's a looney tune position. Like for me, I'm like I was raised in a black majority country, so I I don't come from a place where we look at blackness and intelligence and all these things is mutually exclusive. So I'm not accustomed to anybody looking at me in this like hypersexualized light or you know this hood rat this and blah blah blah. I'm like I'm a nerd. I've been a nerd. Like it it, it is very evident in if again just. And in, in, in so many so many respects, I mean, all my rising is literally Yamcha and Piccolo and Frieza behind my head and all these different things. And they'd be like, <laughs> they'd be like oh, she goes on her way to have this hood rap persona. I'm like, I'm going out of my way to have a... What are you talking about? And so about? what? To them, it could it could be that you're a hood rat, but then oh, again, you are, you're a Caribbean the, girl what, at the same oh, time. What they're saying. Or the it's problematic. We're not a monolith. And that's the thing. Mm -hmm. I want people to know when, when, they, when, they, when I open my mouth, I have a whole bunch of different accents. I might go to the, I'm a Florida girl, okay? So I'm from South Florida. You might hear that come up in me. You might hear my Haitian accent come up in me. You don't know what you're gonna get. Some words I don't even remember how to say in English, but they expect <laughs> me to be a certain kind of way. But one thing I will tell you, whatever topic that we're talking about, I'm gonna talk about it to the best of my ability and y'all gonna listen. And this, this is why you're, you're watching the show. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, don't take away from my uh, my professionalism just because it doesn't meet your standards. I'm not going to wear my hair bone straight every time you see me. It might be bone straight on a Tuesday and fro Wednesday. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're not a monolith. And it does not make us mm -hmm. less of, it doesn't make um, um, Olay less of a lawyer. It doesn't make me less of a journalist. But people love to say, well, how is she a journalist? I got three degrees. I've been on, a, I've done, I've done TV news. I've done, I've worked in the entertainment as a journalist. I've done it all. So, I don't got to prove nothing to y'all. Yeah. They just want to put people in boxes. We're, we're, wait, wait, hold on. We're on a show called The Leftist Mafia because the mafia is considered cool. And I just want to bring up the, the point that you just mentioned. Like, you were being disparaged, <laughs> being called a, quote, hood rat and all that kind of stuff. Like, why is it that the mafia is cool? And, and, and like, white, uh, you know, right. based, uh, you know uh, gangsters, gangs, all that kind of stuff right. is fucking epic. That Not shit is cool, like, oh, that's like cool. Prestigious. Yeah, right, right? Not even just you know? cool, mm -hmm. but like prestigious. Like, they prestigious. Like Everyone wants to be Scarface. Everyone wants the mountain of cocaine. Yeah. Everyone's all that shit. That shit is cool as fuck. But all of a sudden, when it involves black people, it's like, oh, well, oh, oh yeah. No. When we uh, get in it, or, it's a, or, or, or uh, Latin A or MSC. You know, when we get in it, we mess it up. When, the, when like, like you said, Mike, you have a, like, I think a sleeve tattoo. Mm -hmm. Let another person have come on here with a sleeve tattoo. And it, it would, it's, it's like when we do it, it's just, like we eff it up, we can't do it. When a, when I've seen the rising with other women on there who happen not to be black, 
who are wearing different color hair, who are, you know, got a little bit of shoulder showing. So one time I went on there with a T-shirt and I think it was Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix. I, I wear a lot of. Remember that? Yeah, I wear a lot of like um, graphic tees with a lot of different people on there. So I had one time I'm on there with Jim, Jimi Hendrix and I'm I'm talking. They ask some questions. I'm, I'm speaking. We're having conversations. Um, and it's for the segment. People under there like, I mean, I can't even focus on what she's saying because I think my nails were even lime green. And they're like, we, I can't even focus on what she's saying because she got Jimi Hendrix on her shirt. Why, like my black sister. Why don't you just wear a button down and look like, and I had to get with that. I, now that I responded to, cause I'm like, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't matter. Like I said what I said, if you didn't listen to it because you were too focused on my t-shirt, which was fly, then that's your <laughs> business. Like that's, that's, that's what you're sticking with. But I know that there was a conversation that was being held and you didn't listen to it. So yeah, that, and that's important to remember when having the conversation that it's not just a world where it's white people doing it to you. It's black people people of color too that internalize the same respectability politics and have been taught to believe that you need to de-blackify mutual blackness as much and all these different things to enter the room. And I find this very important that those people that are always telling you what you can't do while you're in the room are always looking at you and commenting on you and what you are doing as you are already in the room that they are not in. It's the epitome of very Chris Brown, like how you gonna hate from outside of the club, you can't even get in. It's very often, that's my thing, is that at the end of the day and not taking merit and it is well, as you're telling me I can't do this thing, I'm, I'm, I am doing it. I'm like, well, that was my titties out this weekend, and I know it's me doing this, right? <laughs> like, it, you saw it both happen, right? Thing. Like, I'm like, when I if I Google myself right now, amongst my Breakfast Club, new stuff, bikini, I don't know, they have it. It can coexist, but not everybody gonna like it. But I think that's something I'm coming to terms with, like. You know, mm -hmm. people are just gonna have because they like, they're like, they're afraid. It doesn't look like what. Well, it doesn't look like what society thinks you, we should look like as women. Um, we're not presenting ourselves that way, especially in these spaces. And so it becomes problematic to them because we're not fitting the mold, right? Now, if any one of them other women that are very problematic in the space that happen to be white women do anything else, it's not going to be a problem. They're not going to be like, oh, she's on the beach with a bikini or whatever. It's because Olay is full figured and it's problematic for everybody to see that. So, and I, I think that's, that's, that's wild to me. I think that's I think, wild. You know, it, you know, to shoot a little bit of a bail, I will say, you do something enough, the world does get used to it, right? Because mm -hmm. I definitely do it, right? I get it off. There's some level to which, you know, as much criticism as you get, I will say, I do receive an overwhelming amount of love and support from people mm -hmm. that do appreciate that you live in your truth and in your space. And there, and I'm sure there are a lot of people, I, there are a lot of people <laughs> that follow me and like me that I'm sure wouldn't have liked those things or would have felt criticism for it before they decided, you know, they follow you and like you and they get used to it and they come around to those things. So mm -hmm. there's also a level of people not becoming, not just not being used to it and they eventually become accustomed and it becomes normal to them because people will fight me now. People are mad at me now when I change my red locks and when I change my locks. And two years ago, three years ago, when I first, you know, started making my hair red, that was ghetto and wild to them too. Now it's inauthentic to them if I don't have red hair. You know what I'm saying? So people will get accustomed. <laughs> you will like some time. dumb shit. Well, bro, I, I was, was going to say, it dumb. sounds like it's about control, right? It, yeah. like, it sounds right. like they want to control. They want to control. Women. Yeah. And yeah. Ben, ben said yeah. it very Ben said it very well on the show. One time we were on the show and people were saying, like, why don't you do this and why don't you do that? And I was telling him, like, you know, here's an idea. And here's he's like, Well, we're producing the show and these are the only these are the stories that we have. Just because we did not do the stories that they wanted us to do today does not mm -hmm. mean that, you know, we're required to do it. And people will get upset and say things. And um he had to say, he's like, We don't belong to them. You know, I understand we may take some advice and we may, you know, because they're they are our viewers. We appreciate them. But just be, the moment that we don't do something and they flip out because they believe that they control us, um, it gets we got to take back our we got to. I mean, there is no reason why I'm sitting here feeling anxiety because they're threatening not to to remove their um, their support because we didn't mm. do the one thing that they they wanted us to do. And it's like, no, I'm still going to do my platform. You do not like. You're not going to try to control this. I created this because I wanted to do it my way. And so, you know, that's that we talked about that. And he was just saying that, like, no, Re Rebecca, like, this is our platform. We do this. We get up in the morning and we do this every single day. They choose to watch. So just because on this one day they don't agree with us, that's OK. Like, we should not allow them to take full control of everything. I think that's in society, period. We see that in sports. White folks think they control football players. 
and uh, that on yeah. Also, yeah, Lance, Lance, yeah. don't forget, we have to cancel. We have to cancel and uncancel somebody. We didn't do it last week because you weren't there because it's your segment. Don't forget, we must. Right, yeah. in honor of you, we, we were like, we can't do this without Lance because that was like your, your segment. Well, no, wait, so I, I didn't watch it because I, I was like, I'm going to get too much FOMO. So I'll be too sad if mm-hmm. I have to watch mm-hmm. the entire, like, you know, Left of Mafia. But like, okay, so both Binder and uh, Blair couldn't join us, the Illuminati. Uh, so uh, should we, I don't know, uh, no. say something no, Wait, I, is this a segment? Because y'all gotta, y'all yeah. gotta tell me about it. What's going on? So how, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this sounds also, like gibberish. You yeah. I gotta, speaking gibberish. Speaking of awesome. segments, there's no I real segments. Say, here. <laughs> the, yeah. the the this yeah, they're, they're like kind of pseudo segments. We just ca- well, there's we don't really have format or structure to the show. We kind of okay. just like it's just conversation. We just keep going, or we'll start a segment and then like it'll veer off into something else. But I mean, that's why people like right. it. I think because we're just we're human beings and we're like. I guess uh, off the cuff here, but um, so the David had posted some really good clips over the holidays and um, my nieces had asked me uh, about the show because they saw it. And the one that I sent to them was Ole reacting to Ben Shapiro. And that was like their favorite. <laughs> and so yeah, I, I, I have a recommendation for another uh, Ole reacts. Oh, and it is, <laughs> uh, you know this white person, but you haven't seen. I'm I'm certain you haven't seen this video. It's of Trump Jr. So I've let never me give seen you him talk. I've never seen okay. Him. okay. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, that's that's better yet. So Trump Jr. On a just scale of it. on a scale of zero to ten, how much cocaine are we talking? Like I, I just we're want talking uh, eighty seven. Like oh, it's shit. a wild. Oh shit! If it's what I'm thinking of, it's, it's a crazy, yeah, crazy. Like oh, my. He's crazy. <laughs> he, he woke up in the morning. His oh yeah, I like how like you're barely. Like, I can still see what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing <laughs> in that. Everyone can see it. Everyone. No, he he woke up in the morning and Kimberly Guilfoyle. She came to him with a tray and she's like, "How much cocaine do you want?" And he's like, yes, he wants <laughs> all of the cocaine, enough to kill oh. an elephant. So wow. that's what you've got to react to, okay. because he just signed a seven figure deal with Rumble to post videos there. And all of our videos do better than his on Rumble. Seven figures. Oh, that's and the platform so that's is... funded by Peter Thiel, just so you all understand. Yeah, yeah. The, uh... So this I, is what I, failing I... up looks like. <laughs> um, let me link yeah. you to the specific video that I had in mind, because let good politic you. guy, shout out to him. He shared it, and it was just, I mean, I've seen some really bizarre Trump Jr. videos, but the cocaine in this video, I, I just, <laughs> like, I, I was at the edge of my seat thinking his heart was going to explode through his chest. It was that, like, I'm not exaggerating, so let me find it. I'll, I'll put the link to it in our uh, chat. I sent the link to my friend who I thought would laugh at it, and he replied, I can't believe these people exist. Like, he was just, like, depressed by the video. <laughs> <laughs> his soul, like, died. <laughs> um, let me see. W- would How you do I say it was every the... 1980s movie boardroom, uh, like every single one, some total? Every, every movie made Beyond in the 80s. That even. Uh, like the, the, the amount of cocaine that was necessary to make every 80s movie, that's what we're, gonna, that's what we're <laughs> about to see. Combined. Co- com- combined, yes, concentrated <laughs> in this club. Um, okay, here All we right. go. Okay, I'm sending the link. Uh, so you haven't seen it too then, Lance. And Rebecca, have you no, seen it? No, I haven't it? seen it. it this no, is the, kind of the latest be... viral one. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be good. I wish that we could watch videos in here. Like, we, we should we use like Streamyard I, I or something where we can do that. Yeah, yeah that's what I use. Streamyard, you can definitely yeah. um, watch videos. Maybe next and that'll time. make it like ten times easier. Okay, I posted it in the Leftist Mafia Twitter chat. Um, but yeah, it's it's so good. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to derail uh, Lance's segment, but I had to bring up the Trump Jr. thing because I really wanted that to be the number two Olay react if I can make requests. Yes, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so. So I'm ready. This is going to be one of those, uh, like, should we just do a countdown? Three, two, one, and I hit play. Sure. Yeah, I think that works. Wait, you can play the video? Uh, I can on my stream, yes. Oh, we can't see it, though. Okay, shit. Yeah, maybe we should switch to StreamYard, because then that would, like, change the entire dynamic of the show. We would be able to watch videos and react, read articles. Yeah, Yeah. react. It's the best thing that ever happened to me. (laughs) Yeah, that's... uh, You know what? Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna re up my stream yard. Um and donate them to leftist causes rather than giving them back to investors and all of that other stuff. Uh, uh, oh, wait, it's already happening. Who was wrapped up in that scandal? She ran a fund that was involved in it. A close colleague And what you're all not seeing is the hand movements. It's now pleading guilty, saying she knew what they did. <laughs> 
was illegal. So she knew what they did was illegal, but the Washington Post is still Post. to make her into a victim. Okay, that's a lot of cocaine. Yes, that, that is, that is, oof, that might be the 1980s. That might be, uh, that's Scarface. Like, that's every 80s movie in one right there. Headlines from the Washington Post in the past. Abu, but my dad took out, it was leading ISIS. He's an It might be better served to save this for when we have StreamYard, just because there's it's a visual thing too, not just audio, like WAP. Yeah, it's a very much a visual thing. Yeah, I'm bad. My man said, oh, well, he's definitely going to get it. In our system, he'll probably get off easy, you know? Not like you and me. Oh, me. What? Okay. Okay. Me? You feel like you and you feel like there's a we? You feel like I get it. Now, how did I get in it? The peasant. <laughs> the royal we, you know? The king's we. I'm in with. Mm-hmm. Hey. <laughs> the thing yeah, is, like, yeah. I, I, I'm not even here to disparage people who want to do a ton of drugs. I just don't understand why you just like, you know, buck all these rails, party out, and then be like camera time. I, I need to turn on my camera and talk about this. Ooh, I got opinions. I'm I'm just so ready to give my opinions to the world. That's the part I, where I'm like, you well, know. <laughs> what I understand is why do we pretend like when you on drugs, you can't see that you on drugs? Okay. Like, for example, like yeah. Right, like he thinks he's like, subtle. <laughs> like no, right? Like, you, like, right? like you see that you're high, right? Because subtle, like, nobody can tell I'm on cocaine. <laughs> like, like, like what? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, sir. <laughs> you didn't look at the video and reflect. I remember when I was taking my birthday pictures for my 28th birthday, and I realized, like, oh, I look fried in every fucking picture. Now I'm fried. I And I had <clears throat> shades on in every single picture from that trip because I look <laughs> Because a while I might not have been able to feel that I look fried when the photo was taken, when they showed me, even I said, oh, wow, I, I look fried. Because <laughs> 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 I'll post that like that. <laughs> it's very hard to hide for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he does well, not hide it very well. Like there's some people who, you know, maybe they can play it cool a little bit. He's he's so conspicuous. It's like I, I was <laughs> shocked. Like I genuinely authentically soy faced watching that video for the first time because I'm like, how? Like he, ha- he like he just has no self-awareness. That's what they're paying for right there. Like that's camera, Rumble wants him for he, that shit. <laughs> he turned <laughs> his camera on and then he just started, you know, and it, I mean, he got clicks, but. That's what they'll do. This is what the people are doing. They are not working no more. They're not doing mm-hmm. what they used to do back. They're not. They're people that used to build things with their hands. But these people are just getting on, getting on the microphone. They just ordering, the, getting on Amazon, getting on the microphone. They're uh, let's take back the country. We, like, I understand it. It's women and men. Yeah. It's like we don't need no more people on the microphone. But people get they get on drugs and they just get on the microphone. And there we go. This show, yeah, it's the whole show. You, you want to know what's so crazy is that all the clips of the left sharing the videos reacting to him being coked out get exponentially more views than his Rumble videos. So I looked at his Rumble channel. I did a video on this. It comes out tomorrow. So feel free to watch it, folks, if you are subscribed. Um, anyways, so his videos, like they struggle to hit 10k views, which is very low engagement. Mm-hmm. Rumble paid seven figures for that level of engagement. I mean, some of them pop off and they get like 50K sometimes, but like he can't even hit 10,000. And That's crazy. it's just another, uh, more, I, I think more evidence that the meritocracy is real. <laughs> Raheem gets more views <laughs> than that. <laughs> yeah, Raheem literally does get more no, views he than does. that. he does, he does, he 100% does. Raheem definitely gets more views than that, like chilling. He <laughs> should get a seven figure deal from Rumble. <laughs> Don't even got a brain. Don't even got a meow for that kind of views. <laughs> <laughs> That's really crazy. Like, 
no. So who are we canceling? Who are we canceling? This yeah. Week? Oh, I, I thought we were canceling Matt Binder. Uh, oh yeah. Matt... <laughs> Did we cancel Matt? For not following oh. me on Twitter or following Ole on Twitter. Yeah. Matt doesn't know yeah. half the cast, the uh, the half of the co-host of his show. Canceled. And canceled. Not <laughs> I've been okay, on Matt's so... show like three times. He's been on my show twice. He <laughs> follows like Crowder, all the worst fucking people in the world. Does not follow me. He does not follow <laughs> me. Let me go find out who this is. Well, I, okay, hang on. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay, so, so, so Rebecca, you have the power. I, I would say as our first guest to uh-huh. uncancel someone. Who do you want to uncancel? Who's who's been canceled that deserves to be uncancelled? No wrong answers. Oh my god, that put mm. me on the spot because I have. It's a lot of power. But yeah, it's a lot of power. You have all the power myself. right now. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you want to uncancel? Listen, I'm not in the business of being canceled myself, so let me tread lightly. Because you don't uh, want to cancel and get canceled. <laughs> so I would like to present... Um, I don't even know if you guys know her. Well, you probably do, because it was a whole scandal. Years and years and years and years ago. But I want to get this sister out of bondage. Um, <laughs> I want to free her. <laughs> For Seth Michelle. I, oh! I need Set. The first, <laughs> first episode when they brought it up, I said, I fucking said for Seth. I was like, no, nobody had I was like, you know what? Nah, let me choose somebody they know. You know, I went to, I went to free up. I went to uncancel Chris Seth because I said, yo, we got Chris the fuck up out of here. But we've let all kind of coonery Thank and you. Trump. Thank you. But that being said, I, 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 what right, right, right. stopped me. Explain, explain to us. Yeah, please explain. I'm Googling her now. <laughs> she's, a, she's an R&B artist, jazz style, um, very huge at the time. Um, you know, uh, she did um, uh, a song with Rick Ross that everybody knew, but she has her own album that where we all, all the girls, you know, back in the early, to, the, the mid 2000s. Um, Here she go. Hold on. That was I, 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 I know that part. I don't know what she did That wrong sounds there. familiar. Why, why so was she, she canceled? Sang, she she sang in Trump. for Donald Trump. She and so all great. of the... And Mary Mary oh. did. Mary Mary, oh. the, the, Mary, the Mary did, too? Did so right, but what, what happened in that time, everybody was like, hell no, Donald Trump. And this was at the beginning. You know, we already... He just... Huh, we did not like Donald Trump. We knew stuff was about to go down. And we're like, how dare Chrisette sing at this thing? Like, but baby, they drugged this baby for years. I mean, we are <laughs> we are in 2023 and she is being drugged to this day and they yeah. will not forgive her. But yet we've had so much nonsense. We had rappers um, literally go inside with very conservative views. And 100%. people were just like, you got to really think about it. I mean, yeah. we spoke recently no, to Kanye right. West. Kanye no, right. West has... This man sided with every conservative thing in this world, said that slavery was a choice. We saw what happened when he spoke on the Jews. We ain't seen him since. He said a lot of foul things and sided with Donald Trump um, and in so many different ways and hurt the black community. And she sang at the inauguration and we never seen her again. I'm going to say this. No, I'm going to say this, though. I'm going to say this. So you so you right. Let me just say this. You are. 190 fucking percent correct that is what happened right Mm -hmm. 100 Mm percent and this is what i i I brought this up the first episode but then this is what stopped me i believe that cooning is a strict liability crime right and i was like i i don't i'm like yes this this act of coonery was punished far more severely than other acts of coonery but i don't believe that we should level down (laughs) and and, and (laughs) and i agree with you I agree with you, but we have given other people opportunity. But also, uh, <clears throat> we have given other people opportunity, and she know. has saying. But we, but we have always been. You got to know who you are. You might have a big song, but that don't make you big, right? Like we know you can get if you if we don't fuck with you like that. You as an individual, and you fuck around and say the wrong thing, you will get a harsher penalty. Like Daniel Caesar, let him be an, ev- an e- evidence to, to that. Like so, you don't listen to Daniel Caesar anymore. Um, I don't. I. I don't fuck with him like that. Not so you my... don't listen to Daniel Caesar anymore? I can't tell you what song he came up with like last. Like, I don't remember his songs outside of the first album. But you gonna listen to Daniel Caesar? I'm not gonna hold you. That man is not on my rotation. <laughs> he's not on my shuffle. He's not on my radio. He's not on my okay. list. So remember when um, it's a few different white folks, right? That And this is why I get a little upset with. They'll say things like things will come out where they're like, saying the n-word real harsh and we're like white artists or white um actors and we're like we're gonna cancel them but baby we don't care they get hotter they yeah. move they get real hot in the game then we start allowing them to the cookout that i don't even want to go to no more they like we just, <laughs> it, it's just it gets crazy but 
true. Is that Michelle? We have let we know we don't want. <laughs> We don't even let her look over the fence. Cause she ain't we don't even she let ain't... her look over the fence. Because she was never, cause Chrisette never, Chrisette have a voice. Chrisette did what she needed to do on Aston Martin music. But when the fuck you ever knew any Dia or Chrisette fans? You know any? I, what I, you, know what? you You know, know what? the Chrisette. Olay, like, I'm not gonna hurt wait, you. Wait, wait, you can know, I, can I, I replayed that song a million Edison. times, by the way. I, I, I love that song. I didn't. I her name didn't ring a bell, and I was like, "Oh, this girl." Y'all weren't even aware she was canceled. You see, y'all. That's how much no, y'all are not, not at all. And I, and I was gonna say, I love this discussion because it's like there's nothing the black one white do. man on this panel can contribute to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm reading about it though. Like, but not, I wanted to uncancel. I wanted to free her. I just wanted to shoot. She's apologized <laughs> ninety thousand times. She's done she's overly. She's I'm going to agree. Like Ten thousand times, and she she's done so many different things. And I might be partial because um, <laughs> my friend actually, you know, was working with her, and I got the opportunity to meet. And it was just just good energy. And I just in my heart, I was like, "Damn, girl, you are canceled, canceled. You she, are canceled, she, canceled." She says here. So this is back in. I'm reading Washington Post in 2019. She oh, sure. hopes singing at Trump's inauguration would build a bridge between the black community and, I guess, right wing politics or something. Like, not build a bridge as in like you know, bring people there, but like try to bring yeah. people together. Clearly, it sounds like she's not all that political. I kind of just fell into this and like gave. She it. just wanted to sing. You see, yeah, I just wanted you to see sing. What yeah. happens when your lawyer let something in the door that she would successfully gotten precluded? Because I was getting ready to vote to uncancel her, and then David reminded me of the original charges. <laughs> like he, <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that reminded me of the original that comments. That was a and it, article, and she was stating what her where her mind was at the time. And unfortunately, no, I was I was there. I did a whole show. That was the, on, on Chrisette Michelle, me and Ben, and it went viral. We did a whole thing on her, and um, we were like, hell no. I was like, dang, this is embarrassing, and I hate to do it, but sis, you weren't right. And I did that with the Mary Mary sister as well, because she was up there saying it as well. Mm -hmm. Now, um, mm. with that being said, what's funny is there was a man there who got bigger. He's in the gospel community, though. He was playing the guitar for her, and he sang alongside her. Travis Green is his name. Mm. And he and didn't get the same level of cancellation. No, he he actually got bigger. Of course. I actually do right. know well, Chrisette right. Michelle, the Aston Martin music. You said I'm like that was yeah. I fucking listened to that song a million and times. Again, so did that I. brings me to my original <laughs> point. While she did her thing on Aston Martin music, she herself has never been. To me, it's less about I feel like you present like that people have their foot to their neck on her more so as okay. They did it in the time where it mattered, where she needed, you know what I mean? Like they, because they killed her then. They cut her down from the tree, you know what yeah. I mean? And then she's mm -hmm. just forgotten about. I think, you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas some mm -hmm. artists, like other artists, and it's unfair, it's fucked up, but other artists, like people are already attached. People been attached to Kanye and them from Lil Wayne and them and all they're, these other people doing it. But right. But, but Rebecca people. is right, is right that obviously, obviously, punished far more severely. I guess it's just hard for me. That many, it's hard for me because of what the nature, you know what I mean? I'm like, hang them all, mm -hmm. like for this particular crime. But you know what? I'm I'm gonna vote with my good sis, and I'm gonna uncancel Chrisette. Because you know, and, and we'll, we'll 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 enter in. I mean, we ain't just gonna throw her in everything. But I would love to uncancel. Not you, just Chris, not you put Chrisette on parole. Not you going. Yeah. Not you. And we'll check in. We'll check in. We'll check in. But I did that because it's like you know she has been a good citizen. Um, in the community since and you guys may not have heard that because it's, it's, she's been canceled so long <laughs> so she's been a good citizen and she's um she's talked about this moment multiple times on her platform um and she has rebuilt herself uh to come you know she she's doing she's doing what she needs to do now everybody else like Kanye West who actually sold more albums his platform got bigger all of that and it's crazy because i was on the side listening to his music too and i'm like i don't feel this doesn't feel right and this was in the beginning before he made the slavery mm -hmm. comments he was already veering towards that route for me um and then after that people started trying to make him some kind of guru but for the black women they get canceled like nobody's been like they'll get canceled just in the blink of an eye a black woman do something wrong it's just like girl bye a black man like and i'm talking and this right? is only this is this is this is a this is a conversation at the black table, and a black man says something wrong, and it kind of becomes like it, a black rapper. I, would I do say. think it depends though on the woman, because let's not listen. If it was Beyonce, trust and believe, black women, we would have started bending over backwards to shoot us some bail. I know me sure. personally, Excuse I would have. 
Now, you see, I would have. I didn't I would have listened to her music. I would have still listened to Beyonce's music, but I would have been online like, "Hey, y'all go." No, no, you so no. What happened to Carrie Hilson? She spoke against. That was getting on Beyonce's internet. Wait, Carrie Hilson did something. No, Carrie Hilson spoke against Beyonce. We never seen her again. Oh, okay, okay. okay. And it wasn't even. That's well deserved. You don't. You don't come for the queen. I think about that all the time. Every time I listen to Bow Down, bitches, I think about her talking shit in the background, and I just be like... <laughs> mm. uh, okay, I'm really curious, because Rebecca, you brought up one of the Mary Mary sisters. I didn't hear about this. What did she say? Because I used to listen to saying? Mary Mary in my she, youth. She sang at the inauguration. She sang there, too. And I, Oh, she I, did? Okay. I love this. You have Erica, and then I think it's Tina. I think Tina is the one that's saying at the mm. um at the inauguration and she felt like she needed to sing at there because at the time a lot of people who there were small um policies or beliefs that um Trump said that he was running on or he believed and mm-hmm. Christians felt like they couldn't move the needle to side with anything else out of abortion right i think that was one mm-hmm. of them and believing that abortion um you know believing that children shouldn't be aborted for any other reason um people who were more pro-life all that kind of stuff and she sided with that she said that was the reason because the lord told her or something of that sort Mm. and ben ate her and ben is somebody who's in the church and he was like no that that no like for you to say that you're siding with somebody who is going to be a monster um who has a lot of monsters supporting him and racists supporting him um nazis supporting him white supremacists like this is this is what why would you sit there as somebody who's a believer knowing that that doesn't even stand that does not stand for what a christian should be it was a whole thing he went in on her but that's the one thing that she said was going to make her support donald trump and mm-hmm. so she's saying um, Dang, we're getting ready to go on um tea time soon, just just for the <laughs> record, because I think I go live at ten forty five. Um, Rebecca, what's your what's your call in? What's your name on there? What do you have it as? Um, oh my God, do I need to listen? Do I need to? Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> I'm so I'm 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 like you see you see you see you see. You see. <laughs> like, I, I guess it. Like, yo, send, yo, yo, send me the link right now. No, it's in the um, it's in the chat. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I can run my mouth into see just being late to this. Let me go ahead and get this thing together. You know, I'm crying. Okay, so is the uncancellation official? It yeah. happened. We did it. Yeah. So I vote to uncancel. Okay. I, I, I vote to uncancel. Okay. All right, it's happened officially. Awesome. Well done. Yeah, thank okay. you guys so much for for coming to for for uncanceling Chrisette Michelle. Chrisette, if you're watching this, we have uncanceled you. Says, be free. You're be welcome, free on parole. Chrisette. Be free. <laughs> <laughs> and I left the link. Go follow. Go on my Twitter if you need the link. This there. Go on the app. Call in to Tea Time with Ole and go on at 10:45. We're gonna have fun. We're talking mass pop culture and stuff. Also, thank you for teaching uh, white people about that entire scenario. Because yes. <laughs> we were all like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look. Canceled for what? What happened? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, y'all. Toodaloo. Well, do we want to do shout outs real quick, though? Yeah. Uh, since Rebecca's a guest, at least, do you want to uh, tell true, us your sho- uh, socials? Yes. Oh, yes. Um, Let me do that. Because well, I'm trying to log in and make sure I'm at Sister Show on time. Um, mm-hmm. But. You know, um, please, guys, uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter, I guess, at Rebecca Azor. That's my first name, last name. Uh, Also, my show is on every Tuesday through Thursday on the Benjamin Dixon Show on YouTube. You can find it there at 9-ish, 9.30-ish, 9.30-ish to about um, whenever we feel like coming off. And then um, you can also (laughs) follow me on Instagram at The Songstress. That's where you can see me in my full self. I'm always there. But, yes, please follow me. Um, and I would love to get to know the other side of folks. <laughs> so yeah, All right, let me get this done. I will. Right, well, thank you so much for joining us, Rebecca. I always had a blast. Um, I don't. I feel like at this point we probably don't need to do our socials. I'm fine without mine because we're gonna do it every week. And but yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Unless you all want awesome. to. I had I had a ton of fun. I, I love you all. This was uh, a very good time. Uh, yeah. In general. 
Yeah. We'll address the cancellation of Matt Bender next week, and I will I will act if he's not. I think he'll be here next week, but if he's not, I will act as his defender. And it's not because he's following me, but just because I feel like we should give people second chances. We should make sure that we don't jump to conclusions about their motivations. So yeah, I'll defend my buddy Matt. <laughs> Okay, y'all go on over to Colin for Tea Time with Ole. Bye. All right, we'll take care, folks. See you all next it. week.